guys are welcome. Sorry I'm late. I went to support someone first. I made a video then. <laughs> and I found that it was unlisted. Hope you guys can see me. I'm so sorry guys. So so sorry. Let me share myself out. Come here, guys. Come here, come here, come here. Let's discuss this matter. You guys are welcome. Share me out if you can as you come in. Let me show myself out. Come here, guys. You guys are welcome. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you so much for coming. Yes. Hey, Endurance of Kudua. Good evening. Welcome. How are you doing? Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your being here. Thank you so much. Share me out if you can. I will be very, very grateful so your community can come in and let's discuss the matter at hand. Hope you guys saw my, my right of my topic. Crucial things happening among us right now. We need to discuss. I'm trying to switch in some things. This is a life book. Uh -oh. To many people, it. Sorry, guys. It's too loud. Keep coming, you guys. Hey, Minister of Music, how are you doing? You're welcome. Thank you for being here. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you so much. Are you hearing me? Hope you are hearing me. Thank you for coming. What do you have to say about our topic? Let's discuss. You guys are welcome. Most of you are still in traffic. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you all for coming. Thank you so much. Hey, fantastic is here. Welcome, sis. Hey, classic, you are here at sweat. Welcome, thank you for coming. Great topic, yes, let's discuss it because it's what is really happening now around us. We need to be able to, yes, you love kids, yes. We need to be able to at least give one advice to one person or the other because it's not, it's not only about the women or about the men, it's both. And it's not about the single parent or the father, the single father or the single mother, no. It can happen as well in marriages. So we have to discuss it. And the rate our women are going as well, especially our African women, very bad. Hey, thank you, fantastic for sharing me at I really appreciate that. Thank you so, so much, darling. God bless you. Thank you so much. 
I will be reading from this phone. So when I'm washing, then you know I'm <laughs> I'm trying to so I didn't get. Thank you so much. I really appreciate. Thank you, God. God bless you. We thank God for another day, for another topic, for giving us the strength, the enablement, the time to be here again to come and discuss. It's not by power, it's not by might. It is true God that gives us strength to do all the things we are doing. If not for Him, we would have been where we are today. So for that simple reason, we give Him all the glory. Thank you, Jesus. So, guys, if you are around, just come in. Let's kick off. Because when we, let's look at the meaning of neglect then we'll be able to see where we are going because these days before we came abroad we used to think it's only in africa that there are child neglect even here in the western world where there are a lot of amenities for them to be able to take care of their children still a lot of parents neglect their children and kids should be the number one priority of every man, of every woman. I always say to people, if you know you cannot take care of your child, if you know you cannot take care of a child, what is the essence of sleeping with a man or sleeping with a woman and keeping the pregnancy and giving birth? And at the end, you cannot cater for them. That is really, really bad. It saddens my heart because... When we look at neglect, hey, Melody is here. You're welcome, Melody. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you so much for coming. Thank you, thank you. Don't forget my thumbs up. Share me out if you can so other people can come in. And let's start this hot topic because it concerns every one of us. You see that we have seen it, or it's in our, our community, in our neighborhood or where we are coming from, or it has happened even to us ourselves as a child. So we shouldn't neglect it. It's high time we start speaking out. Because I know most of us that grew up in Africa, we are fond of keeping secrets. Even when the thing is so hot in us, we cannot say anything. I don't blame any of us. It's because of where we are coming from. We are always afraid of parents. We are afraid of the uncles, we are afraid of the aunties. They are the ones telling us, don't say, don't say. Because of the culture, anything we do is a taboo. Because if you should look at the meaning of neglect, neglect, according to the English dictionary, is the ongoing failure of, a, of an adult or parents to meet a child's basic needs. What are the children's basic needs, if you may ask? Just shoes, clothes, and food. By the time a parent cannot be able to provide this for a child or, a, or, or, or the children, that is neglect. And by so doing, it can result in so many, many things. Many, many things. So those are the things we'll be talking about today. And when we mean neglect, it also passed through to most parents, to, to most uh, uh, women as well. Because some mothers, they are the ones that condole this neglect if they are still married with their parents, their husband. Because you come to find out that sometimes, even those people that are married, couples, that are living together, their children sometimes seem to be neglected as well. So don't just put it on your head that it's only the single woman or the single man that can neglect their children. No, 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 no. Sometimes even in marriages, both parents, they are living together, but their children will seem neglected. So we have to be very, very careful in everything that we are doing. Because the first 
years of a child's life have a big impact, very big impact on how their brain develops. That's why you see a lot of lunatic here abroad, or in the name of um, um, in, um, abroad, especially our, our, in our community. They behave anyhow because you don't know what, what they have gone through in life. That's why it's not good to judge. To pass judgment on people that you see. Except you have really talked with them. You have really known them or you have known their history or you have known their story. Before you be able to pass judgment on them. Because if a child has a poor relationship with a parent. That can change their brain develops. It can, it can change the way they behave. It can change the way they develop. Because this coddling of a teen. It has a lot of impact on children. By the time a child grows up, not knowing the, the, the mother's love, hey, Edu's vlog is here. Welcome, Edu's vlog. Thank you for coming. I appreciate your being here. It has been long. Thank you so, so much. God bless you for coming. Thank you. Ah, okay. Minister say yes, mama. Minister of music. Yes. It has a lot of impact on the children. Yes, thank you, Edu. Congratulations to me. Yes, thank you. Don't worry. Very soon now you'll be seeing me in your home again. I've been so busy. You know anyway, you have been with me. Thank you so much, Edu, for your support during my time of wash hour. I always see you, even when I'm on silence, you do come and support me. You'll be there and be writing and stay there. Thank you so much. I really appreciate you. My brother from another mother from the Philippines. Thank you so much. God bless you. I really appreciate it. God bless you so, so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. So, as I was saying, minister says, uh, yes, mama. Yes. Because the way we call to our children, the way we relate with them when they are young, it has a great impact and effect on our children. Hey, Sister Yemi is here. Say hello, everyone. Hello, Auntie Yemi. You are not late. You came early. I just finished explaining uh, the meaning of, uh, of neglect. I said it's the ongoing failure, or we can call it maltreatment, that leads to lack of love, lack of attention and it has a lot of it has a lot of uh, psychological effects on children because of the lack the ch the parents the mother or the father lack basic amenities for the children like food shoes clothes what have you it's a deficit in meeting a child's basic needs if we should say so. So, and you know, emotional and vibrant pathway, they lead to neglect. So when we are talking about child neglect, it's broad. Very, very broad. Oh, thank you, Minister of Music, for that wonderful super chat. I really appreciate that. God bless you. God bless you for me. Thank you so, so much. Thank you. Because you see a lot of mothers, even here in the diaspora, Instead of them to take care of their children, they will leave their children in the mercy of a younger person or in the, in the, in the, in the mercy of a minder. You cannot take care of your child. You now expect someone else to take care of your child for you. That's the reason why there are so many abuse that can never be reported. Because when you share uh, statistics, a lot of emotional abuse, a lot of neglect, a lot of child abuse, I never reported because it's never known because most of the time it's being committed at home. And most of the time when the child is young, it's committed even among the relations. It can be the father, it can be the uncle, it can be a very close, it can be a very close person to the family. And here in the UK, according to statistics, one child in, 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 ten children, in five children, a child dies every week. One in ten children that have been neglected. 
you walk on him. Thank you. You understand? So we should try as much as possible to know the way we deal with our kids because they are special. They are the leaders of tomorrow. If we know we are not ready, no, no need for us to, to bring children to the world. No need. If we are not ready, we shouldn't bring children to the world. Because what makes children at risk of neglect are poverty, unemployment, addiction, mental health issues, a lot of all these things. That's why it's common among uh, single parenting. But as I said earlier, it can also be among couples that are married. If they are married, maybe it's only one that is working and one has a mental problem or the other one is uh, 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 have uh, issues with temper or addiction, using substance, or both of them are not working at all. It has a lot of psychological effects on the children. Abuse can increase the risk of developing mental health problem. That's why in our community today, but nobody wants to speak of it. We always like saga. We like things that will move us, the things that, but the things that are really important to us, nobody cares to listen. Even when we are, you are saying it, nobody wants to listen. But we should know that in our community today, what is really killing us is mental health. There are a lot of us that are struggling with mental health, both men and both women. And it started from an earlier age because we that grew up in Africa, we knew that we don't believe in such things as mental health until the person start walking naked outside before they would say that person be crazy. No, there are people that, are, that make up their face, have good clothes on, they can even wear Gucci, but they are mentally imbalanced. There's a lot of things, a lot of emotions that come with neglect. Food, eating disorder is there. It can lead them to self harm as well, the children. That's why you see some children trying to, 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 to harm their self. You understand? So when you ask me, what are the signs? Because there are some signs you have to look out for in a child. In case you see these signs in a child, you have to report it. You have to report it. You see some children, they are always looking dirty. Always looking dirty. Ah, Monday Paul is here. Welcome, Uncle Monday Paul. You're welcome. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you so much. You see some children always missing out of school. You are right, man. It's so sad with child, child neglect. So because when I see a lot of children, oh my goodness. Even here in diaspora, before when you are in Africa, you'll be thinking, okay, it's poverty. is because and even when you approach the parents, they will tell you in Africa, I will not get money. Now because we, they even here in diaspora that the, the, the system is even helping some parents. But still, they still neglect their children. We don't have to overlook it anymore because... It's not good for the children. That's why a lot of uh, 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 black community, they are breeding monsters as children. Because a child that is being neglected as a child, he not carry that, 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 that harm. He, not, he or she not carries that, that hatred towards adolescent to an adult. Do you know what it can cause? It has a lot of psychological effect. You see them missing out of school. You see them looking so dirty when they are young. That's what I said yesterday. You see some mother, ten, as little as 10, 10 euros, if you are in Europe, can make your child's hair, but they will not. Or if it's a male child, to take them to the salon to cut their hair, they will not. You will look at the shoes that some children are putting on in, in the diaspora. You will think, oh my goodness, even the children that are living in the village in Africa, some of them can't even put on such shoes. Not to talk about the clothes they are putting on. Because these mothers, mother, most of them, they don't care. The parents, we are getting there. Or be left alone in the care of other young children. Sometimes even the parents, they are working. They don't even have a mother for their children. They all leave them alone. They think buying gadgets for children will make them to grow faster. You are spoiling them. If you are not ready for a kid, don't have one. Exactly. Exactly. That's my point. 
It's high time that everybody starts speaking because the, 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 the type of generation that, that, that our black community are bringing into life into, is very, very disheartening. Very, very disheartening. Because what I'm saying right now, this long uh, uh, child neglect, it, it, it has a, a long time effect on children. Even on women that are being abused by their, their, their husbands. It has emotional difficulty. Such as anger. You see them. Children that have been neglected, they are always angry. Always angry. Are, that anger is in them because it's like, did I ask you to bring me to this world to suffer? They are always angry. And they always have that low self-esteem. They have mental health problems as well, such as this, this, uh, uh, depression, PTSD, as I said yesterday, that's uh, post-traumatic stress disorder. And they always have suicidal thoughts. So we should do something about it. Even if their parents are not ready to do anything, we as a community, we should be ready to help. We should be ready to report things that are not going well. Who came in? Didi, welcome. Please don't forget my thumbs up as you come in. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your being here. Okay, you are still at the gate. Didi is still at the gate. You welcome, welcome, welcome. Mr. Monday, you welcome again. I don't really know who that is. But anyway, it doesn't matter. We are here discussing together. You guys can be tripping in your thoughts as well because it has been a long time. This has been on me. I've made a video of it, but I didn't post it. But I said it's better like in live stream because in videos, you can only just make like 10 minutes. You can't let it be longer. Even if it's 30 minutes, you cannot really express yourself. But as in live stream, you can stay longer. People ask questions. Everybody will be able to tackle it the, the, the way we we know best. Okay. I know that the teaching for child abuse abroad is part of child abuse. Yeah, that's it. This is where we are going because it's that no but do you, do you do you want to blame them? You won't blame them because for me, I, I say according to the Bible, that the Bible said we should train up a child the way it should go. That when he is old, he didn't say the way he should grow. He said the way it should go, go, G O. But many people, they are training their children the way it should G R O O W. You know, the Bible said the way it should go, so that when he's old or she is old, he or she will not depart from the ways. But by the time a, 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 a child is, is being brought to the world, he doesn't have any form of training. Do you blame that child? Is it the child that is going to, to, to train to train him, him, himself or herself? So after the child have lost training at home, the next place for him or her to get a, a training is the school. And the system, you know what they are. They are not ready to train you. If your parents cannot train you, they are ready to tell you what they want you to do. They are not ready to train you at all. That's none of their business because they are not your parents. Uh, I know that the teaching for the... Okay, sorry, let me read from here. So I won't be. Hey, Scorpion, you're welcome. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you for coming. Don't forget my thumbs up. You know I really love my thumbs up, Scorpion. Thank you so much. What do you have to contribute? Yeah, I'm still teaching. You understand? Because my treatment can be very devast devastating. There's physical... Uh, 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 physical... Um, okay, child... Because child training these days is by the grace. Yes, I know. But we can try and do our best as well. It's by the grace of God. Because even if you give your child moral support, they must still be well. No, that's not the thing. No, 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 no. They, they. You are right. But that's not where I'm going at all. That one, you leave it for God. You see what, what you... I understand what you meant perfectly. But do you understand that those people that you are thinking that they will... They, it's like all of us that are in, in Europe, that came to Europe. Let me say it like that. If you didn't come to Europe to study, you just came. Maybe your parents brought you, your auntie, your cousin. You may you 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 are like you are like that that word that you use. I don't want to use it in my own way. You understand? But when you receive a training from your parents, 
Look at the difference. The difference is like this. A child that has gotten training from her mother or her, or, 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 or her father, even if the, the child is raised, they will come to a time when that child has made a lot of mistakes. Nobody needs to correct that child. He will sit or she will sit and remember that, ah, this thing that I'm going through is just all my making. Because the time I was growing up, my parents told me this. They taught me this. But I decided to go my own way. It's different from a child that hasn't had any moral support, that hasn't had any training from her parents. You understand me? That's where we are going. Because I'm not talking about, you know, child abuse is different from child neglect in a way. Child abuse is different from child neglect. Child neglect is what me are, 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 are contemplating now because that is the ongoing, on, the, the, the ongoing failure of an adult or a parent by not being able to produce, uh, uh, provide uh, basic amenities, basic needs for the child, thereby causing the child to have a lot of psychological effects. You understand? That's where we are going. But what you said, what you wrote, you are very, very correct. The school system will not teach any. No, they will not teach you. They will even, in fact, oh, I, why will they teach you, by the way? They won't teach you. They are not there to teach you. They are there to spoil you. Uh, Glory, oh, Sister Glory is here. You're welcome, Sister Glory. Don't forget my thumbs up. Host, I know what I am talking about. I know, I know you also. I have a pastor as a tenant. One of the child don't follow the footsteps of their parents. I know what you are saying. Did they? I know what you are saying. That is another time. You are very right. There, there are many pastors, they give birth to away what children you have said is true. It's not that because their parents haven't taught them, they take them to church. When we are learning, it's what we are saying. I was in a live stream from my friend now. It's what, like, they are teach, she's teaching also about, uh, about uh, how to train a child. So a lot of people are making contribution also that, okay, we should train the main child as I always teach. They should learn how to cook. They, how to, they, they should be respecting their elders so that when they get married, they will know how to respect. They should be taking them to church as, at, at an early age. Does it help? It takes the grace of God the way you say. Because most of them, even if you like, take them to church when they are 18. Once they complete 18, as far as they are here in the Western world, even in Africa, the day they complete 18, they might tell you, I don't want to go to church anymore. I'm an adult now. What can you do? Let me read comments. Sorry. I understand you perfectly well. Ego, uh, uh, Scorpion said, yeah, we can guide our children, but we can't live for them. No! They need their own experiences. Neglect, if caught, can get your child taken from you. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It's where I'm going to. I'm not going to try that. I'm trying to establish a thing so that they, they will know what I'm saying. Okay, I see where you are going. Talking about basic needs. Yes, that's the neglect. I'm not talking a child about child abuse. You understand? Because child abuse, you know child abuse is broad. But I just brought out the neglect because it's what I'm really seeing in our community. Because that's the reason why a lot of uh, assistants, they are taking their children away from them. You understand? And they will not start crying. Oh, I didn't do anything. Oh, they took my child away. I don't know what I do. I don't do this. I don't do that. You understand me? Can you believe that some children, as little children, not up to 10 years, they will not be eating breakfast to school. And the government is providing money for these parents. Eh? You know, when they go to school, they don't go there to teach them. They go to school to question them. They go to school to ask them questions about their homes. So anything, any loophole they find it. So that's why we have to guide ourselves also. We have to guide our community. They have to open their eyes. They have to be smart to know what is really going on because it's like most of them are sleeping. I have had to take children out of homes, kept them in the office with me. Yes, until we find a foster place. Exactly, that's my point. You understand? That's, my, that's where I'm going. Because even you, as a black woman or a black man, when you are doing this type of job, when you come with, you do not meet with a, a, a black woman or a black man like you, it saddens my heart. And most of the time, I don't like to work with our, our people. Most of the time, when you work with them, you know what you get. They'll start narrating you that they can even, if they don't really understand, they can even say you are the one that even make the, the government to take their children away. So any opportunity we have to discuss 
this type of things to them is very, very, very okay if they will listen. I know it's not all of them that will listen. <laughs> because most of them, when you are telling them, they have, <laughs> they, they, they will think they even know more than you. Because the only, the only uh, child abuse that most uh, African people know is when you, 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 you beat a child. No, 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 no. That one is abuse. That one is not neglect. Uh, it's only when you beat a child. But even here in the Western world, you can beat a child. Provided the child doesn't have any mark. Because even when you go to the, when you, when you have friends in the force, or even the teachers, when the children are un unruly, you have a way to correct them. But some of our, of our parents, some of our, 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 our black community people, because they are here now in the diaspora, they think that's the way the white people are bringing up their children. It's not true. Because they are not integrated, they just tend to do everything upside down. Some of them, when you are talking to them, their children are still very young. The way they are behaving, maybe you yourself, you have had children like that, you have made your mistake, you saw someone that corrected you, you try to correct them, they'll tell you, no, 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 I don't take that, nobody should talk to my child. You understand? They said it, it takes a community to raise only one child. But what are we getting now? Because there is no more community that is there for us. Host, there is nothing wrong to beat a child. Yes, that's what I'm saying. It only depends on how you beat. Exactly. It's what I'm saying now. I said provided there is, you don't leave a mark on the child. There is no blood to be seen. But most of them, they won't. They'll tell you, no, I don't beat my child. Eh, it's Africa. They do that one. Yes, yeah, uh, Europe. Yes, yeah, uh, America. Yes, yeah, Australia. You don't have to beat a child to make a point. Who told you that? They are so children. They are very unruly. Not until you, until you smack them. They will never learn. When you are saying it with your mouth, it will look as if you are playing. They won't take your words serious. That's the reason why we still need a man and a woman at home. Because sometimes, these children, as I always say, it's not only from a single parent or a single father or the single mother. Don't get me wrong. You can even still see wayward children or children that, that are unruly in, in, in a marriage that there is a mother and a father. You know that that father and mother, they have failed in their life. The only thing that God gave to them, they could not be able to take care of. Because the children we brought to life, we think uh, <laughs> we, are your, we are caretaker for them. Because on the last day, that's the first thing that God will ask from us. How did you take care of these children? We are accounting for our children. That's the thing we have to know. We, we, they, they, they say judgment is... On, on judgment, they, they say uh, salvation is personal in Christianity. But do you know that in the Bible, it's only a child that you brought to life that you will account to. The way you are accounting for your life, you will be accounting for that child as well. So that's why we have to know what we are doing. We have to know what we are doing. We have to try our best. According to what you said, 100% I, I, I concur with you. you. But we still need to try our, our, our best, even if the child... At the end, the child now, 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 now goes astray. But you yourself, you won't, you won't feel guilty. You will be happy wherever you are that I did my best. You will be able to say it publicly, publicly. Even if they call you in the television house, you will not be ashamed. Because you know that you did your best. You did your best. It was the child that decided to, to find his or her path. So by the time anything is coming, it won't come to you. It will come to you because uh, the children of nowadays, we know that something will always happen. But that doesn't mean we should all leave them alone. We should still do our part. Children these days are bigger than their parents. Exactly. From teenage Joe, the rebel, yeah. Their rebellion not be here. Not be here. It takes the grace of God. That's the reason why, in, in a nutshell, all this thing we are still saying, it still depends on the parents. Because you as a parent, if you are laying a good foundation, if you are laying a good, you, 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 you lay a good path for your children to follow, sometimes it's very, very difficult also. You know, every teenager, one thing that uh, parents have to know, especially those ones that still have uh, young children, there is rebellion in every teenager. There is a certain age they get to. They want to show that they are. But it's only you, through your love and through your care, through your patience, that you'll be able to, to... Because you won't break them. Because when you break them, they will break completely. But it's only through your love and patience and love that they, you'll be able to mold them 
You want, you will remove them to the person you want them to be. That God has ordained for them with prayers, with uh, be patient, and, 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 and setting good example as well as a parent. Because you will not go and tell your son not to smoke when you are a chain smoker. For example, just saying. So those are one of the things that we have to we have to follow. Okay, children, the sister Yemi said the law of the land for child abuse is very, very, very important, very important. But sometimes we tend to, to, to forget it, especially in our black community. You understand? We need to know where we are standing, we need to know where we are doing, because it changes the children as well emotionally. And sometimes where I'm getting to what of if the child smokes and the parents don't, yes, you see it. It's another thing. It's what you said before that will bring a bad that, that will bring a bad uh, moving out with the wrong pairs. And some people will tell you also when you are bringing your children up, you have to know the type of friends your children are moving with. But is this one correct? It's very correct. But can you really do it? No, because of these children we have, we have nowadays, but you try. You try until they get to that step 13 age. When they are still very young, maybe between 12 to 13, you can do it. You can do it because in the summer, like when I was bringing up my children, it's what we always do. But the, the, the thing there is you have to always agree with your husband or your husband have to agree with your, with your wife. Because when the children come to and say, ah, I'm going out to play, they, my, my husband also said, but sometimes we'll be saying, you are too much, leave them alone. Say, no, 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 no. Where are you going? What time are you coming? Why are you going out with? All these things. We will put some, it's not that they are afraid, but he put them in check. But by the time you as the mother or the father, you are not at home because you, you are looking for money to go and build estates in Africa or wherever, you leave the children at the mercy of themselves because they have gadgets at home that they can play with. Before the, is the early age they start doing rubbish, you won't know. Before you come from work, they are already back. They will pretend as if nothing happens. They will pretend. So by the time they now get to a certain age, you will not be able to take care of them anymore because they have been doing it for a very long time. In that smoking aspect that you say, I, I, where I was working before, I had a, 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 a little girl. She, she was a nursing student. She was working at my place. Her mother, I swear, was a nurse. She was my, my very good friend. We went to school together. She was in the other. We work in the same company anyway, but I was in different branch. Her mother was in another branch. There was a day I had a night duty with her. Then she was still a student nurse. Do you know what this girl did? They didn't know I was coming because normally our pack is at the back. We always use the backpack to drive away when we are going home. But sometimes because we are doing nights, you, you might decide to say, okay, my car, let me just take my car, pack it at the front so that when I finish, because we finish at 10 o'clock, 10 p.m., so you can just drive home. You don't need to go to the car park. A garage. She thought everyone has gone, but me, I didn't go early because I was still talking with the night uh, colleagues. This little girl with two other girls, they were smoking. When I came through the front door, when she saw me, maybe her mother would be looking at me now. I won't make sure her name. If she's looking, she'll be saying, oh, because she begged me, she was crying. That, ah, oh, oh, mama, please. I shouldn't tell her mother. I said, I won't tell your mother, but you have to promise. This thing you are doing is not good. Where do you find this? She was. She started confessing that she has been doing it for a long time. Because her mother, will you say her mother is a bad mother? No, she's a good mother. But the only problem was she was a single woman. She was also looking for her life, going to school, doing her, 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 her trainings, maybe at night, in the day, thereby leaving her daughter at home. Going with her friends. She said she learned it through her friends. So, it's like that. Sometimes they might learn it at home, sometimes they learn it outside. But there's nothing like training your children when they are very, very young. You have to be there for them because gadgets will not give them love. Because I've seen that children that lack love when they were small, they are the ones that always go astray. What if the child smoke? Okay, okay. And the parents, okay, I've answered that. Okay. Oh, I think you can speak a child on the behind. Anything is going get yes yes negative peer yes negative peer pressure you understand because it's what is happening with even the adults 
because they will tell you ah what would they say they want to be ah if you are not a monk i want to belong i want to belong must you belong you alone can make a difference you can make a difference people don't know must you follow every way that other people are going no you mustn't do that you can stand on your own so that people will, you will be the person that people are emulating as well you don't have to emulate others for evil you can also be someone that people will be looking up to you have to make yourself to be astounding so that's what i see because in raising children we have to be very very careful especially those those people hello son everyone in the chat hey sister amy is here welcome don't forget my thumbs up don't forget my thumbs up baby thank you for coming i really appreciate your coming because you know it has a lot of effect on them whether we like it or not these children that have been neglected after all these things i've said they have depression withdrawal they have feelings of hopelessness that's the reason why in the first place came in with my tongue so thank you that's the reason in the first place they start doing all these negative things just to to, to boost their self-confidence because that's the only thing they know because where they, they are the people they are moving with is what they are doing as well because they are their inability to make decision is what is worst because they can't make decision on their own that's the reason they are like that because of their self low esteem they don't have any communication behavior they lost interest in a lot of things these are the people that drop out out of school they lost interest in school they don't like to go to school so that's where the parents come here as well it's important not to teach them out of fear yes out of that's what i say because when you teach them in love that's where they will learn you make them your friends but by the time you as a parent you are not there to be a friend to your children you are always buying them gadgets buying their pizza buying them this buying 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 gushy when they are still small they will still get spoiled because money can't buy love and live a contradictory life yes you see it children do what they see from the parent not just what they are told exactly it's what i was trying to put across to day they just now when i make example of uh, you are a smoker and you are telling your child not to smoke but he have a way of twisting question at me i love i love that guy <laughs> you understand if you want you need to you you you, you need to make you uh, exemption you, you need to make example of yourself if you don't want your child because they say children learn by example they learn by what they see children are like men men and anyone miss oh scorpion is greeting you all men learn men what they see is what moves them that's how children are also they learn with what they see that's why i said yesterday that as a child any child that is growing up in that little age of once you give birth to them they start talking to up to the age of seven the ma if he's a male child his own aspiration is to be like his father when he's big if he's a girl child all he knows the first hero in their life is their parents so by the time you have derailed what do you not expect your children to do greetings from my international mommy like i say oh thank you talk more with nothing Eddie Mark is here. Oh, thank you for coming. Ibirun Kelos. Welcome, 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 everyone. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you. I really appreciate your being here. God bless you for coming. Please, did you see my let let's you guys should contribute your quarter? Yes. You understand? So by the time you as a parent. You have gone astray. You don't even know what you are doing anymore. Then what how do you not expect your child to grow? They get intimidated. They get manipulated because you were not there for them. And thereby, refuse her to be ever pleased. They are never pleased. They are never pleased. And some parents, you know that some parents, they cause this emotional uh, abuse on their children as well. Because they compare their children with other children, forgetting that no two child is the same as a marriage. You see, some men, they tell their wife, you are, you are not good. 
you are too fat, you are too black. Why did I marry you? Those are emotional. It causes a lot of psychological effect on, on women. That it, it leads them to, to self, uh, they, they lack trust and they lack confidence in themselves. Those are the type of things that happen to the children as well. Because most African parents, they are like that. They like to compare their children with other children. Instead of them to pray for their children, they are always abusing their children. You will amount to nothing. Look at you. Useless girl. Useless boy. Look at your head. Big girl. I know you will never make it. All these type of things, you have negative effect on the children because you don't know the children you give birth to. Some children, they are very, very emotional. Mary Johnson, so people are here. Sorry, guys, the ones that just came in. Thank you all for coming. I really appreciate your being here. God bless you all. Eddie Mark was here. I've greeted you. Burium Care, welcome, darling. I've greeted you. Um, uh, Mary Johnson, hello. Good evening, everyone. Oh, Mary Johnson, you're welcome. Thank you for being here. Thank you so much. So, as parents, we should try and stop putting negative things in our children's because as they get older it has a lot of impact effects on them i had to remove two young boys because the mom was talking up from this step that you see come to find that he was making the boys do acts on oh my goodness that's bad telling them it was teaching them to be made really that's bad Oh, that's so sad. That's so sad. It, 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 it happens. I know. And you know, at Scorpion, this type of thing, it happens a lot with women. And that woman, she can never tell you she didn't know. Most women, that's where I found them very gullible. And so, I don't know, there's no English word to qualify such women. Eh? They will know, but they will never say it. All in the name of they don't want to lose their marriage. I know a woman also. It was a ma a female daughter. Her husband is not the is not the father's. Uh, it's not the, the 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 daughter's father. He was doing the same thing with her at a very young age. She was not even up to ten. The woman could not even speak out because she said, "What will people say? You see, what will people say? What well, will land some people to?" I wish people would stop being silly in regards to their kids and partner. I don't know. I don't know. That's why I'm bringing this topic out. Eh? I think we should treat it very well so people can hear. It's child neglect. They are neglecting. That's why I said yesterday. Even in marriage, they will still be dead. They are not single. They still neglect the children one way or the other. Talk and more with Nancy say, Yes, mama, it's not good for parents to speak negativity towards their children. It's usually done out of anger. Yes, when the child behaves in a not so good character but parents must be patient yes exactly you are right nursing most times the women know and ignore because they want them yes that's my point i know a lot of them like that they will know that they will ignore imagine this one that scorpio is talking about two children are you going to tell me you don't know no but they pretend they will they will use a blindfold to cover their face because they are thinking when I lose this man. Do you know how long it took me to be in this marriage when I, your father left me? All the anger of their father, they tends to push it to where their children, thereby neglecting the children and putting the children into a psychological problem, that, that emotional imbalance problem that the children can never get out of in their entire life. Most times, yes. Mama, good evening. Oh, Mama Lala, you welcome. How are you doing? God bless you for coming. Guys, thumbs up the stream for me as you come. Why have kids? It's not by far. Yeah, I've said that before you came, Brunke. I said if in our black community, it's high time we, we call a spade a spade. Because enough is enough for us. Because the children, they are, they are giving birth to now in the next five ten years <laughs> most of the male children and the female children as well <laughs> i don't know i don't want to give them names because uh, god god have mercy on us is what i will say hey at about said this spotlight is here welcome sis you are welcome i really appreciate omg scorpion that's so shocking it happens a lot eh? are there those no boys it happens a lot haven't you guys heard of uh the news that, that, that is trending now. Some uh, scorpion sad with the boys. I see. Yes, I think it's happened in Nigeria. I think precisely Lagos, 
few days ago I read it. It was on news, it has been trending. Because of this lockdown, this one is not even a stepfather, he's a father. He has his wife at home. He could not go and do anything he wanted to do with his wife. You know what he did? With three years old child, molested and raped severally. A father. It was when the woman wanted to shower the, 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 the little girl. He now saw that, ah, the thing is not like the way it is before. You know children, now, they will not be pushing backward. She was like, ah, the, mom, the mother was not like, kind of, what is happening to you? Who did this to you? He says it's his, his father. Really, your father? Thank God for that woman. Because if it were to be some silly women, they will cover it up because that's what they know how to do best in African community. How to cover, how to cover up evil. But on Sunday, all of them will carry their Bible. They will go to church. At night, they will be praying. That's why God is not hearing our prayers. Because we cover evil so much. The woman now shouted and called the police. That's how the police now came and arrested the man. The man was now saying, he, 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 he was an Igbo. My says it's Amadio that, that was talking in his ear. The Amadio is the one that said he should go and do what he did. Imagine the rubbish. Amadio told you to go and do evil to your own child that you brought to life. Just three years old. Three years. When you have a wife, it's not that you're a single man. You see? The evil that is happening in our community. So some people will say, now nah, what will you talk about that one? But normally before me, I always talk about stepfather. We say, when your child is too small, when you know you have a female child, please, my sisters, don't remarry so soon. Wait first, let the child grow to a certain age before you say you want to remarry. Because all these men, most of them, they are not trustworthy. I still repeat it. They are not trustworthy because they are moved by what they see. And they can be moved by children. They don't care. Any, anything else gets is... It, it, oh, no. Let me read messages, my, my darlings, my lovely sweet people. Yes, I saw... Okay, you saw it, you see? Mary, uh, Mary Johnson said he saw it. This is wickedness. There is no safe place in the world. If a father can do this, God, I must imagine. Most of the time, the women are on drugs. When they give birth, it, sh it shows up in the baby's first two sample. Yes, some of them, but it's not all. Welcome, sister. Our boss said, yeah. Thunder, fire him. Told him waiting. He, could, he said, I'm not there. He's the one that sent it. He couldn't call his wife. On your own. <laughs> hey, Nancy. Welcome. You are welcome. Sad for the woman, for the money. So sad. Best Thunder, the one she is referring to him as sober women. Just don't. Mama, the super, my greetings. Oh, Chechi, welcome. Mongi Ade, you are welcome. You understand? You can imagine. If a father, as in father, because when I was growing up, I, I used to be my, my father. Uh, I love my father even more than my mom. I love my father. I can relate with my father. I tell my father everything. Because when even now in Europe, most people will be saying, that it's like that right from time. If it's When you don't have children, you will not relate to it. Girls' children, they are always for their father. It's the boys' children that are for their mother. That is why when any boy child starts misbehaving or is not good, you always refer back to the mother because it's the way the mother brought him up. You see in Africa those days, it's not that our, our, our brothers or our husbands or our in-laws wouldn't have had no something how to do things. It was because of the mothers. But the mothers that taught their children how to cook or how to respect women or how to do treat women good. They still give kudos to them. But those days, even when they want to do, they bring out that their ego. They will even tell them, leave the clothes. Your their elder sister, they'll say, You she did my water, you do go and wash your brother, junior brother, go and wash his clothes, or go and wash the plate that he used to eat, or go and Anything they ask them to do, they'll say, go and do it for them. Don't you know it's a major? Especially when that woman is only that male child that, that she has. Maybe she has a lot of female children. She'll be thinking all these children, the, the, the female children, they are no children. They will amount to nothing. Not knowing, if no female children in Africa today, Africa will have <laughs> the lockdown and go, you're for rich, uh, 20 years. Most of the male children, what, what, what did they amount to today? That they did train well. It's only the ones that have good on training. That is able to to that is able to manage their homes. 
Ah, Doro Bless is here. Oh, welcome. Only God can take control. Exactly. My greetings to everyone in the house. Thunder said, yes, it's both. I was a case manager, so I had to take children because of me. No, the, the way uh, they are neglected children in, in, in Western world, no. Before you think it's only in Africa. But yeah, why is really moving me to talk? Even here, yeah, they still have support from the system. But still, their children cannot eat three square meal a day. They can't wear nice clothes. They can't wear nice shoes. You look at their skin, they, are, they look pale and tattered. They look as if they are coming from, let me not go and use country that they will not come and say what is my own. Please, Ibiru Kaya is good. Let me read message. Thanks for coming. Really appreciate you. Not in my house. My children will respect each other and I will be responsible for themselves. And each Exactly. That's the spirit. No, I'm referring to Nigeria. Yes, Nigeria. I know what you are saying is true for America. So abuse out of anger. And can't control it and be their king. Yes, that's what I was saying before. Is you are right, especially those that came from a broken home. They tend to put all the blame on the child. They will be abusing the child. You are, you are, you are like your father. You are bad. This any little thing the child does, and it, it gets worse when they not get another husband. You see, the children they will have from that uh, their husband, they will be treating those kids like king and like queen. But they are their first child. You, if you don't even know the story, you'll be thinking, or oh, is it the father that gave birth to the child? Not knowing it's the mother. The child will not look as a, 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 he won't look as a child at all because of the neglect. To buy clothes for the child, they won't buy. The child can't eat good meal. Anything the child asks, he will not receive because most of the time they will tell the child, go and meet your stupid father. Bad head, go and meet your stupid father. But all these things, they forget that. It has a lot of effect on the children. That's the reason why when they grow up, they become nuisance. They, they start constituting nuisance in the society. They end up selling drugs. And at the end, some of them, if not for God, they will have been killing their parents as well. They'll take guns and blow their head off. But you see some of them, they will just decide they will not see their mother anymore. They don't want to see them at all. They'll get old. you still see that... Those are the type of children when their parents get old, they don't want to see them. They don't want to see them at all. They don't want to have anything to do with them. Eh? And, and these type of children, they are the ones that are getting abused as well in the home. They are the ones that are getting abused. And their mother, because of the anger that he has on the child, because of the father that left, ask me what you call concern Peking. Because saying you will not behave, maybe it's you that didn't even behave well that made the husband to leave you in the first place. We are not there. Why will, why on God's name will you not put all your problem, put it upon the child? Thereby maltreating the child, causing a lot of uh, fear and anxiety on the child is very wrong. Please, guys, black community, we have to change our women. Our women are the worst. You see, our mumu don't do. We need to change, eh? We need to change all this ego behavior we have. We are doing following some men that doesn't even deserve us. Let me read comment for a moment, please. Huh. Some abuse out of anger. He can't control. Yes, beat the kids. Yeah, no problem. Some mother are disappointment to women. Exactly, Doro. You are you are right. Share you. Oh, thank you, Doro. Bless. God bless you. Yeah, I feel you, Abiruka. I don't know how the system is in Nigeria. No, that one, we are coming there. Mm. It's more so culture than drugs in Nigeria. Exactly. Nigeria, they got money to buy drugs. Nigerian people don't need drugs now. They drug don't already did their body. America, they they, 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 they say they get crazy. America, they learn from where Nigerian people do. Nigeria. <laughs> Talk and more with Nancy. Say, yes, yeah, so... <laughs> Hello everyone. Phone Scott TV. Ah, oh, thank you so much. Okay, Ki, you welcome. Funke, hello host from Phone Scott TV. Oh, thank you so much. Yes, that is bad. Oh, about said this. Yeah, more well. Thank you for coming. See at the gate. Oh, Phone Scott's way. Yes, so a lot of effect on the children's future. Yes, that's what I'm saying. That's why me are particular about because if we live there like this, you are not reporting any case you are seeing. You are not talking. You say it's not my business, it's not my child, it's not my auntie's child. In the next 10 years, the type of 
the, the type of children our community will be bred in, they will even be, if they see 60 years old woman walking alone uh, in, the, in, in the winter when it's not even up to 9, 9 o'clock, 9 p.m., something will happen to that old woman. So we have to be very careful. We don't have to say they are not our children. So therefore, we will just close our mouth. I always say to everybody, a closed mouth is a closed destiny. Since those women, they have decided to close their destiny, we will not keep quiet anymore. Because it has already been said that it takes a community to raise a child. But now, because we don't have any community anymore in Africa, that's why our children are going like this. Because these women that came to Europe, all what they care for is just man. They don't even care about the children they are giving birth to. If they like, they have 100 children. What you come concerned? They, their own is just that man. Man, man, man. All their problems, man, man, man. Who say you shouldn't respect your husband? But what about the children you brought to life? Don't they deserve to live a better life as well? Because in the first instance, they didn't ask you to give birth to them. That's why some children are telling their parents now, they didn't ask you to give birth to me. I didn't ask you to give birth to me. I didn't ask you to give birth to me. So among that, I uh, don't oh no. Hello, it's from phone school to you. Welcome. Tonda said, oh, like one woman, she had five kids. She didn't take them to school. So they were so bad. Yes, they were in bad. Is that not what? I said some of them who have lies in Western world. Hell all mattered, imagine. Phone school, thanks for the read. Thank you all that read me. Oh, God bless you all. It's so sad. Much love, everyone. Okay, okay. We really need to check. We really need to change, oh. We, we need to start talking to our fellow women. Anything you see in them that you, it's not good. And some of them is laziness, laziness, laziness. Because of the system have so spread them, giving them peanuts, money that is not even enough. Money that is not enough. And the money that the government is giving them, if they are really wise, it's enough for them to care for themselves and their children. But you know a lot of black women, that money, government gave them, to take care of their children, but that money, they'll still take from that money, if not even up, use it to please man. And at the end, they will not be empty because their hand, it has been, there's nothing coming out of their hand. They will not be managing because they are not doing any business, they are not working. So all the money that the system gave to you, you have already used it to play love. Which one will you not use to cook for your children? Your children will go hungry. I've seen children in Europe, the age, not up to the age of 15, they have started outside. So those children that, are, that, that know all the big, big people that sell substance, they have started shooting. Maybe they'll tell them, ah, you, you don't even get next shoe. You don't even have Adidas shoe. Don't worry. Come to me this evening. If, you, if we give you Adidas shoe or next shoe, I tell you to help me to take this thing to social play. Will you help me? They will say, ah, uncle, no, no, why, no problem. What is it? You say, it's not, don't worry. I will they will go because... Their mother failed to do it for them. Or they start giving them small money. That, oh, don't worry. Help me to go to this place. I'll give you 50 euro or 100 euro. Ah, when you have not seen that type of money, even the mother have not even, even put such money on the table. It will go now. All this problem we are talking about is still on top of our women because they are the cost. They are the cost. They are the cost. They are the cost of all this problem we are passing through. We need to change. Abiruka says it's ironic because there are people begging for children. That's the problem. You see, what the people have to know, I always say it here, people that come to my, my stream, they know. It's one of my sayings. It's not because you have a child that makes you a mother. There are a lot of women that are barren. There are a lot of women that they haven't had children yet. They are more of a mother than most women that give birth to 10 children. Seven children. They just put the, the children in their womb and just give birth to them. Biological. That's why I love the way English people, the way they, they, they position things and names. Because they have already passed through these things before. That's why they have something. That's why there is a, a birth mother. There is something like a, a biological mother, birth mother, surrogate mother. There is a lot of mothers. So it doesn't mean you have to just... Find one and place yourself and put yourself there. So, it's not by giving birth that make you a mother. That's the reason why they are disappointment. That we actually take care of them, but cannot have their own children. Or don't have the money for it. Yeah, it's like that. 
text to adopt, but then there are those who have a whole lot of refuse to take care of them. Exactly. From school, thanks for coming. You welcome to spotlight. He got behavior for women. Yes, yeah, so this he got behavior. <laughs> oh, sister, I mystery bad me again. It's true now. Some women have he got behavior. They'll forget. How can you uh, 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 justify yourself? You are the one not working. The system is supporting you. The money they will give to you to feed your children. He got behavior. The children they will give to you, you start running around with one he got. That doesn't even care about you. If a man really cares about you, he will even give from the little he has. He will tell you, oh, baby, I don't have enough bed. I know you have children. Just use this one. But no. Because they don't love you, they are collecting your money. It's you that is infatuated with them. You think you are in love. That one is no love. It's no love. Do we have, they, they, they will make, oh no, God have mercy. Hey, who? He got behavior for we. <laughs> Thank you, sis. Blows and greetings to everyone in the beautiful school. They used to be able to paddle kids in the school. No more. I would be against that too. Yes, me too. So sad. Our kids are supposed to be our priority. Yes, but no more. It's the men that is not their priority. The men. It's not even their husband. That's what is the, the, the most... The most funniest of all, not their husband. They have not done introduction. They don't even just boyfriend though. Mama, he got boyfriend. They are they also are future. Oh, some women laugh at their fellow women that your children wear good and quality clothes, but you as their mother, yours is not quality. Don't mind them. Your children is your future. But also those type of women, me, I don't, I still don't like it too. You are buying for your children. Why can't you buy for yourself? Are you the is those women also are they, they're not there be the crazy women wait there for you to know? Buy for yourself, buy for your children. You understand? Buy for we are also so that even if it's not, you don't need to, to, to buy expensive things to be beautiful. That's what people don't know. You don't need to 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 go to a expensive Gucci shop or a Mac shop to buy clothes or shoes or hair. You don't need to wear your mind to be beautiful. You can just see bad sheep and nice things. You look good. You as your mother, yours is not quality. You are absolutely right, host. I feel it got yes, they are women. No, too much. That's true, sis. More way, but it's not it's sad these days. Some mothers can't even neglect their own kids. Why? But that is where I've said that one. Hmm. They, they think by buying gadgets for their children. You see some mothers, the money, the one that don't give to the men, they use it to party. Any as should be, they are dead. They, are, <laughs> they will buy. No, forget that. They will go to party all month. In this country that me I'm living, go to London, go and see what they call. I think you guys that are not living in UK, you'll be seeing it on telly. Thank God for lockdown. That's why we have not been hearing 12 years I've been, I've been kid. 19... You know, our children, our boys, most of them. Oh, God. The, what communities? Is it not in our black community? Nigeria community. They are the ones dying, killing themselves. But when you trace the problem back, you will go and see that it's, it's coming from their home. Most of them, they are from a broken family, broken home. Their mothers, they are not. They were not there for their right from the day they gave birth to them, like what I've been saying. They lack that cuddling. Because it has a psychological effect on children. Children, when they give, when you give birth to a child, you, as a mother, you, they need to feel you. That cordial, it gives them some sense of belonging. It makes them to develop mentally well. I don't know how to explain it. But these women, they will leave them at the mercy of... Do you know that some women in Europe, it's not because they want children, they are giving birth. Just because they can have children... They are not the ones that will go and be looking for children. They can have children easily. So any man they sleep with, they get pregnant. They just start having, giving birth because they have documents. They know that the system will support. Who cares whether they take care of the children? So far, they are collecting the money. They are always to collect money. They are always to burn. And it's for the government to start giving them money. They will start going to party. How will you explain it? A woman that doesn't have a husband is not married. In three, four years, we have four children, four fathers. Where is that one? It's in our community we find all these people. Where is that one? Is that one not he goes behavior? 
foolishness on the highest level. That's true, sis. More way they sad. Yeah, a lot of resources out there for help. Yes, yeah, so sweet sorry was with the villagers. No problem. I don't think teachers should paddle children because those teachers have anger issues. Yes, most of them. That's true. You are right, uh, Ibiruke. You are right at that. I cite you all. Thank you, more word for coming back. Buy for your children and yourself. I bet. Yes, that's my point. Why will you buy for your children and not know me? I'm not into that one. Me. I bet. Me. My own uh, policy is different though. <laughs> like, like, they make the same as Gucci. Yes, now. Nah. Wear your natural right if you want. Hey. Exactly. I'm inviting you all to my monetization celebration this Sunday, 3 p.m. No problem, European time and 4 p.m. African U UK time. You are all invited. You guys are all invited. Rice and stew, very plenty. Nadia, we exactly. Congratulations, Monwet. Monwet, what time is there now? So I will know the difference. Um... Uh, Abba said, the what time is it in uh, with Scorpion time? Yeah, me. Thanks, Mama. I see your day. I'm inviting you all. Yeah, we are with that. Thanks so much, Scorpion. Oh, wait. Are you in Detroit, right? So, the the six. It's like six. Italy time is 3 p.m. on Sunday. Yeah, by me, it will be 4 p.m. No. It will be 2 then. Okay. Right? I thought you guys are ahead of me. Okay, it will be four by me, then three by you guys. All right. I thank God for the day. More wait. Yes, God is faithful. God is faithful. God is really faithful. So women should buy for themselves. The way they are buying for their children, they should also buy for themselves. You understand? It's not only for buying for children. Is there... Uh, I can't read. Let me read, though, guys. Sorry, you. Oh, where are you going now? Let me read. I'm inviting. A boss said they said uh, 10 a.m. 10 a.m. with um, by Scorpion, you mean? Host, oh, two by you. Okay, two by me. Uh huh. Thank you. I forgot they wait for. Anyway, you're first. You tell me. Okay. Well done, ma'am. Oh, sister Yemi. Thank you so much. Thank you. Yes, yeah, 3 p.m., right? Thunder. Yes, still here, the mark. Thank you, Eddie Mark. Contributes. You see? So we have to be very, very, we have to know what we are doing as women because God has blessed us as women. They said women are the builder of the home. I thought Midwest was an hour behind Thunder. No. You guys should discuss what you are discussing. Here alone in the UK, in the last five years, there has been an average of 68 child deaths a year in the UK. You can Google it out. <laughs> and according to statistics, an average, at least one child is killed a week in the UK. Because of child abuse. Child, uh, Scorpion, same time with Ibirunke, 10 a.m. for us. Okay, you guys that are in the America continent. Nigeria is also one HROB and they are like, like me, Nigeria. So children under the age of one are the most likely age group, if you know, to be killed by another person, followed by young men that are dead, that are being killed by knife everywhere. You can Google it out and see the way it is going. Google, Google, Google. You can even Wikipedia if you want. Those are the ones. Ah. Because you will see that a child homicide, they are mostly caused by the child's parents or step parents. No outside person is coming to, to, to go and, and, and sleep with a, a, a little child. The sister is done by the, the father or by the stepfather. Like that, uh, Amadio Ama in Nigeria now, that went to sleep with his three years old. What will he enjoy the three years? Three years. Three years, not even 17, not even 18. At least on those ones, you will, you will be able to even say, ah, it's you that want it. Three years old. It's not even afraid. He says, I'm not the other sent him. If I were to be the judge that would judge that case, in fact, what I, the sentence I will give to him, eh? 
Which country are you based in, Scorpio? Motor. God bless you, darling, sweet sister. Talk among. It's a shame. It's a shame for our community. And the, the, the problem that I have with African people, all these things will be happening. And they will still be talking about culture. They will still be talking. Is there you still see some men saying they, they believe in tradition. They are traditional men. When they are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they, are, they are committing evil all around. We should be central time. But really, let's just, oh, yes, go, go, lo. I don't tell now. Go, go, lo. Or Wikipedia. Now, now, no, anyone would not want to do. And, hello, you're welcome. Don't forget my thumbs up as you come in. Thank you all. Doro, are you still there? Type yes. Thank you, Ibiruke. Type, type yes. So I can say what I want to say because this morning I was with Doro. That's why I wrote uh, for me. Do, you, do anyone still have anything to contribute on uh, child neglect that I've talked about? If anybody still have contribution, you can contribute. If not, we go to the next one. Our mumu don't do as women, African women, our mumu don't do because it's getting out of hand. The way some women are behaving like it's not let it go now. Hmm. It's another name, mumu.com. I was wrong between we were at the same time, Thunder. That is last, I will say on this. Okay. The bureau can say, Mama, I will be going now, but I will leave the tab open. Oh, thank you, uh, mumu. Don't. Yes, so mumu.com. Thank God I was never a mumu. Thank God for your life. But most women that are mumu.com, they are mumu have done. They have to change. Mama, I have you on the laptop. It's too... Uh, oh, Nancy, go and sleep, oh, darling. Sorry. Ibiru, can you too? You should go and sleep. Sorry, guys. Bimbo. Thank you, guys, for coming. I really appreciate you all. I appreciate your, your contribution. Thank you so much. I see you guys. I'm in the Midwest, but the part I am is Eastern time. Ah, okay. Any woman that neglects is or a child, we regret in future. <laughs> Yeah, I boss said that, that one is understatement. That one we used to say it's not true. They don't ref, uh, in future. They regret no 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 future is too far. Which guy future? Have a good day, everyone. Yes, thank you, Biruke. Thank you so much. You two have a, a good sleep. Dream of all the good things in life. Your dream man. Ibiruka is still afternoon. Nothing wake up. <laughs> Let them go and sleep. Le leave them alone. Leave them alone. Yes. You understand? Because I was with uh, Doro. I went to her today. There was a woman. I think the woman lives in Italy anyway. She did call her neighbor. I want her. She was here now. I forgot. I would have just told her. Because I need it. Ha ah, ah, ha ah. ha. I'm still here. You are there. This woman, according to the story, she married her husband in Nigeria. They were living in Nigeria. She had four children, four guest children for her husband. Four guest children. Her husband now came to the abroad that we are. He left the woman there. He didn't go anymore. The first time the husband now went back to Nigeria, he now impregnated another woman. That woman now had a son for him. This woman, she now go and sold her, her mother's land and use the money and enter into Libya and came to Italy. When she now came, it's not her husband that brought her out. She now continue with that her husband. She now go and look for her husband. They, they now continue with their relationship. She now had another four guests for her husband. In Europe, four in Nigeria, four in Europe, making eight children. That one is not enough. For. No, yes, together they have four children. But before the fourth, they when they had the third one when she was pregnant, they now had the bad Germany. That Germany is you understand, they are good Samaritan and uh, they used to they used to do um, what I will let's say it. 
when you go there you you will receive free money hey, let me use it that way so she now went to germany and now had a fourth baby but in the male time when she was pregnant oh my that is a lot of yes just listen now don't listen before you go and sleep who is taking care of the ones in there just listen when they were in uh, in, in germany the, she, the husband was in uh, in uh, Italy. All the money they are paying them in Germany, this mumu.com, he will be giving the husband, he was gathering the money. He now give to the husband. The husband now started business going to Nigeria. Unknowing to her that the lady that is in Nigeria, that's why I was saying yesterday that I know what I was saying that this man, they should stop deceiving people. You, you understand? So now, many men, you are going to tell me that eight children, guess, they are not children. It's only that child, that one male child, that is a, is a child, that that one male child cover up. This woman, Mumu.com, all her children life, she was packing it and giving it to her husband. Her husband, on the other hand, will pack all her children, her daughter's destiny, go and give to the wife in Nigeria that had a male child. Hey, Gallant Comedy Beauty, you're welcome. Thank you for coming. Give me my thumbs up. You understand? They now do what they want to do with the money. But to cut the long story short, you know Germany now. Maybe they found out something about them, I don't know. But the truth of the matter, she's even lucky they didn't deport her to Nigeria. Because if they have deported her to Nigeria, she will have known that in life, it's not good to make the same mistake two times. As we are talking, the, the Germany now carry her and her children. It deport them to Italy. When she now got to Italy, it's now the man now realized that, okay, there will be no money coming anymore. He now leave the woman. He said, don't want to marry her anymore. Now the woman is suffering. She's looking for help. She's doing shoro. So that's why everybody was saying she's mumu. But since money, me, my mind have not settled. But we should find a way to help her because she has already made mistakes. But the problem, this type of women, they need to listen to all these type of uh, messages. She's mumu, mumu .com. Because who knows now? After everything is good, because I've seen a lot of women like that. When the man still come, maybe there's something the man is using for her, or I don't know. All the children now, <laughs> the, woman, the man don't care about you. It's only after the male child. When the money was there, the man would come. Now, because they deported her back to Italy, the man ran away. Now, wow, this is sad. So, not see where Musa no see for get to, for our women. Me, I used to tell women every blessed day, who cares to listen? Male children, female children, any children you have, you should be wise. Open your eyes. What will make a woman? You are not working. The money, they are, you are not even saving anything. You are giving your husband money. And you that, that knew that you have made, uh, guest children, you don't even have a male child. Forget we are in Europe. Abroad, ab abroad is good. Africa, forget them. We know men too much. It's only out of 10 men, it's only one man that will be very pleased. That, okay, I'm okay with my, 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 my children. I know such men also have it as a brother. But it's not common. For men to be pleased with their, their female children. They always go, go behind the women. But we should tell her the way forward. Yes, she already made the mistake. She should just package herself and start it afresh. I believe God will help her. Yeah, that's what I said. But they were not telling me that. Ah, is she going to help herself? Because now she doesn't have documents. In Italy, they don't give them any help. No emotional help. No financial help. No uh, material help. Nothing of help in Italy. Because she don't have any documents. You understand? So the only thing we can do for her now, anybody, maybe we sh can just try to, because now it's even locked down, what will she not do? So what will she do? Then for me, the only thing I said, maybe we can look for something, anybody that have anything. We can just try and contribute smarty for her to start smarty. I don't even know what to do. 
Yes, mama, all children are children and blessing from God. But mostly in Africa, it's mostly about matri. That's the truth. Let's, let's be frank. Let's call a spade a spade. But if you are opportune to be in Western world, fine. But in Africa, even the, the African men that are here, most of them, sometimes even if they agree that mm, children are children, but then when they now come to their family, forget it. They'll say, if you don't have a matri, you have no yet children. She should look for a job and work. Yes, yeah, she should look for a job. But said that she haven't got any document to work. So how will she look for a job? Because now uh, they say she's doing uh, what they call shorty in Italy. Uh, Floje is here now. Floje know what is called shorty. Floje, welcome there. How are you doing? Yes, Floje, no worry, Jare. You understand? So. Sister Boss said, how will she look for a job when she doesn't have documents? Floje is in Italy. Now, even people that have documents in Italy, it's not easy for them to have a job. Not to talk about the one. Not to talk about the one that doesn't have a... The one that doesn't have a, a job, but that doesn't have documents. So how can we help such person? Because it saddens my heart to see our women going through the same problem every time, every time. There was one story they called me for the other day for me. I said, me, I am coming here. I come here to make, uh, to teach women, men, children. I don't come here to bring people's matter. For I said, me, I'm not taking it down because for me, this in the first place, I, I don't know the reason why a woman, you that have children, you say, what is the topic? Did you see it? Go back and see. <laughs> is what is child neglect? Child neglect slash African women mumu don't do. Our mumu don't do some of us. So and maybe I'll go and put some of us. But I just want to use it as idiomatic expression so that we capture a lot of people's mind. This type of pleasing husband that is not pleasing you. In all this scenario, what, what will you women say to me? I don't know if men are still here. It shows one thing that this man doesn't love you from the onset. A children or no a children, he doesn't love you. Because a man that loves you, we always come back. We always make a way for you and your children, whether there is work or there is no work. Yeah, too much in Italy. Now she's in Italy suffering because she went to Germany before to have a child. Now, uh, the, you, you, I love German people, a uh, fantastic uh, uh, country. I love them too much. They will calculate you. They were giving the money because they are very rich. They don't care about the money. They now let her enjoy the money. Instead of her to be saving the money for her children, she was packing the money and using it to play love with her husband. Her husband, on the other hand, was using the money of the children to play love with another another woman in Africa because that woman have a male child. Imagine the wickedness of men. It's what I was saying yesterday. I know what I was saying. It's like I knew this type of message was coming today. That's why I was saying some men, they are very wicked. They will never tell their... their oh, Scorpion is still there. Thank you. Eh? They will never tell their wife that, ah, my wife, I have a male child though. So that... The woman number six will correct that. Ah, since I don't have a male child for my, my husband, I'm not supposed to just be doing joint accounts with him and, and be giving him all my savings. You have to save for yourself for the for the rainy day and save for your children as well. Because something can happen. Then where will you fall back to? God forbid that the man gets sick tomorrow and you are not working. It's only the man that was working. What will you do? Your children will start, they will start being neglected as well. Or oh, God forbid, nobody wants their husband to die, but <laughs> there are things that can happen. That's why you as a woman, you need to be prepared. Then all the little money you will have, for you to, to, to use it for, for the betterment of your home, you will not be using it to play love. Is it today you want to play love with your husband? Any, if man does not love you, doesn't love you, if you like, you build that for the man. If you like, as I always say, kill yourself, cut your neck, give the mark. If you like, cut your back, your front, anywhere where you lie now, you know, cut and give the mark. Anything you do, the man will still not love you. 
There is no two ways about it. So it's high time women should grow up. They should grow up in Europe. They will say Africa. Okay, Africa, we understand. But what about we that are living in diaspora? See, they are, no, they, are, they are no wise. Oh, Juliet, you're welcome, sister. Good evening, mama. Good evening. You're welcome. How's your day been? How are the kids? Hope you are doing great. Scorpion say, yeah, it's easier for men to hide children because most of the time they stay with the mother or a father. Yes, I know even in Africa it's like that. No, no. Africa, one thing I like about Africa, those days, oh, not now. It has, it has changed a lot. When I was growing up in Africa, if a mother and a father separate in Africa, on no account, out of a hundred, ninety percent, I will say it, that the men, they will never allow the women to take the children. The children always goes with the men. That was how I grew up. But now the reverse is the case. It's women that now take care of the children. But those days in Africa, it wasn't like that. Eh? If you said you don't want to marry anymore, or your father doesn't like your mother anymore, you can't go, you as a woman. But the children, they are not leaving that family. You leave them there. That was what happened to us when my mother left. My mother wanted to take us. He took only my, my, my mother's last born. But that one said was small, was still crying. I want to go to my father. Want, my mother now brought him back. But these days, what do you see? You see uh, men. They will be this the men said that will leave the children for the woman self. They will all go where you let. They will all run away. So that they will not go and be dropping their trousers. Be contributing children like a meat pie everywhere. Distributing it. Father Abraham, having children in all the continents without not caring for any of them. Most men, they have, like that man, they have eight children. They ask him if you know how much they say a diaper, he doesn't even know because he has never gone to the supermarket to price one because why will he go and price when the women are there working for him? These are the men that will use their women to do any type of business, any type of job, they don't care. Provide them money come. And once the money come, the mumu women, they will pack all the money and give to the man. And some of them even, forget being, let's be realistic. Divorce is not a good thing. Are it an option? Not at all, uh, uh, the mark. Eh? Not at all. Not at all. If the man cares, he will care regard, regardless of anything. If a man loves you, even if you see that say you want to leave, if you live with a child or even with the children, wherever you are, even if you are hiding your number for the man, will be looking for you everywhere. He will be looking for your family, looking with money. He will give you money. Not the other way around. That he will. Me, in, in my 50 years in, 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 in this life, me have never seen uh, any uh, woman that is giving money to a man that the man loves. I've never seen. I've never seen. Money cannot buy love. It can't. Work, Juliet. Work on her, Juliet. We are fine, Mama. Thanks. Fantastic. Oh, you are right. Thank you, dear. Good evening, everyone. Divorce is not not at all. Uh, Sister Yemi, say, appreciate, Mama. If the man cares, he will care regard, regardless of anything. If he really cares, oh, wow. He's totally opposite here and then the mother will put the children on the grandmother really hmm. mommy it's because of love that's why we may mumu. which can kind of love but were you not here when i treated it love love is not enough and those women you are thinking is because of love it's not love oh. infatuation what type of love what that type of love will make you to put your children future i don't know in job but Marlo Music said, hello, Mama the Super. I am late from the boss said it. Oh, no problem. I'm at work and we leave you, Ronnie. Thank you. I eat the like, but thank you so much. Father Abraham. Yes, yeah, so start having children all around. Children that they cannot care for. And at the end, as our boss said, they have said, the end we tell, their future is said for the women. It's both women and men. But now, they don't even wait for the... Uh, uh, uh. Me, I always tell them, don't single men. Go and walk, eh? 
Go and walk because your life will be, in fact, it will be dirty. <laughs> but then you will not be a rejected, uh, a neglected father. You know the, the place neg the neglected uh, uh, father and mother used to, to end up in Western world. That you will not be eating that long bread. Is that one of water they will be giving you? You will not be a father and mother of the community. Anyone that is passing is the one that will be bringing you soup. That, will, that is if God even have mercy on you. But still, be in your child's life. You are right, oh, buying with money. If, uh, hey, Doro, you are back. Is that woman I was talking about? I talked to you about her a little bit. Please, do you, maybe you, you, uh, you will try and bring a number. If people, we need to help her, you understand? Because the way you said Italy is on lockdown, she's doing sure with all those children and, and her husband doesn't want to help anymore. Does it? So how will she not be living? Because since you have said this this morning, me, I'll never be at rest. If I had your number, I would have called you since. But because you promised me that you will be coming, I now decided, let me just wait for you. I was thinking if you did come after the show, I'll go and look for you in the IG. Eh? Because a big woman, a team man, no. how we are doing, no? Can you ask your Maria mine? If we do, oh, let me on the boom. One man, Bia, you wear a Vina, you have you wear a Nia. God forbid. Thanks so much, Marlon Music Channel. I really appreciate British everyone. Urobo Wado, how are you doing? Agatha, I see you. Agatha, you're welcome. I appreciate your being here, Mama. You must know that your standard in a relationship is different from another woman. It's true. You are right. Fantastic. Thanks a lot. You are right, so you are very right, uh, Yemi, but in regardless of all this, at least we should know that once a child is involved in a relationship, we should take extra care. That's why also that our mothers, it's not that they, they, they know, uh, 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 they know motion, <laughs> uh, let me say it that way, but because of the children that was involved, the, because of the children that was involved, that was the reason why they could bear and be patient because they knew that they, by then staying there, as, as far as the, the man is not abusive, what did you rest? Hello. With African culture, at what age do you feel comfortable to leave your daughter or sons at home alone? Okay, I'm coming at that. Women need job direction to choose their... Yes! Why is to avoid divorce because divorce normally separate from a lot. You are truly welcome, my sister. Um, oh, Julia, thank you for that wonderful. Oh, thank you so much, darling. I really appreciate. Thank you so much. God bless you. God bless you. Bless you. Bless you. Bless you. I really appreciate. Don't worry, I will dance for you later. Or should I dance now? Hey, I will dance for you. He don't see money. Mm -mm, he don't see money. Hey, hey, aha, you. Mm, yes, so Floyd. Look at um, uh, Scorpion. Let me answer you before I continue. You see, in Africa, there is no age that a, 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 a parents can leave a child at home or his child at home. You know the reason being, in Africa, it's not like here. In Africa, you are being taken care of. You are being guided by your, your father, your mother, your auntie, your uncles, your neighbors. The, the women on the streets, the old woman selling a car in the other, everybody are taking care of you because when your mother is going to the shop or is going to the market or is going out to the work, he always said to the community, please, when I come here, you guys should look after my child. That's how we grew up. Even your father that has gone to work, when he's going, he will tell everybody, I'm coming here, I'm going to work. Please, who is at home, look after my children. That is how we grew up. It's not like here. So it means your father and your mother that have gone to work since morning, they don't know anything, but their mind is at peace because they know that mama goes in next to you. He will caution you if you do anything. If you mess up, mama goes in will beat you. Papa Shidima is coming to mess you up. And mama is young, but is coming also. To tell you this thing you have done, you are very wrong, you don't have any right, and you won't question them. So those days, that was how we, we, we grew up. You understand? But that is what we are lacking now. 
These days we don't have it anymore. That community that looks after children has been broken. That community is what we are trying to preach about that we should bring back. Not our culture. We don't need our culture. Most of the culture that we had in Africa, they are, in fact, they are the one killing us. But that community whereby I, as a woman, I can be able to talk to Flo J's son or daughter when I see her outside doing wrong. I call her or in that. Come. They can be able to say, oh, Mama, what is it? This thing you are doing is not good. If you don't want me to report it to your mother, you stop it or next time I see you. That's what we want. But this day, what do you see? You can't even correct any child or any, any, any at all because their mother even is the one that will tell you, yeah, I leave my child for me, I better go. I'm not born for you. Leave my child, it's my child. They won't allow you. So not until we bring about that community. Do you see all the rest community? My cousin told me at school, she's from Asia, that the problem we have in black community is what I'm discussing right now. That then, that are right here. Do you see any Asian people? That's why I give kudos to Yoruba people as well in UK here. Yeah. Most Yoruba parents, their kids, forget it that they were born in UK, they can speak Yoruba and the Igbos as well. Then where may I come from? Hey, even the adult that, uh, that, that they gave birth to in, in, in Nigeria that grew up there, that came to abroad, maybe he or she was more than 25, 30 years. Speak your language vernacular to them. And these are the ones that didn't even go to school. They are not schooled. They can't even speak simple but correct English, but speak your language to them. They won't even answer you. You will look as if ah, you will look at yourself. It's like, what is this one saying? She told me that's where we are missing up on Saturday. They always take their children to go and learn how to speak. That's why I said, okay, when I get monetized, it's one of the things I'll be doing on my channel. I'll be teaching my language to women and to children. The, the even the little one, no, my can even my any away. Let me read comment, my people, because this thing is getting out of hand. We need to change. Urobo Wado, what is a mama? You, you, you know, a mama, a, a mommy. Oh, thank you, Julia. Edit say thanks. How are you doing? Yes, true, mommy. African community looks after children in the neighborhood. Everybody look after your child, looks after you. And that, 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 for that simple reason, that's why. If I tell you, most children that will give birth to in, in Africa, like me, I was a very stubborn child when I was growing up. But sometimes, because of all those people, you put yourself in check because you say, no, if I do this thing now, before I know it, this, this, this woman now, this, this like, like woman, you will just go and report me. Because of that, fear will grip you. You will not do it anymore. Say, I bet me, I just go. But now, Nobody like that for you to say will do it. Who you do you want to say? I be the children that they give birth here. They will be the big thing. God have mercy on you. Please let me read. Oh, God bless you if you try it. Eh? Hmm. Not try a mod. Now, how much they'll tell break your head? Hey, now that day they'll tell you your life history. You want correct their children. Are you born? Who born monkey? You know the fear? Hmm. Don't that. Oh, okay. It used to be like that here in the black community. But now, no. This was like in the 1950s, 60s, but not anymore. Yes, even in Africa, not anymore. In Africa, if we, it, has, it has changed a lot. Because if, if you go to Nigeria a lot, now you see that that community that, we, that was there when you were growing as a child is no more there. Even the ones that they are giving birth to, now when you are telling them some story, you look and see, what is this one saying? It's no more there as well. Yes. It has been broken. Totally, totally broken. And it started breaking when the church came. I will still say, I'm a Christian. Uh -huh. Don't. It's church. Really, Scorpio. Oh, God bless you. If you try and not so pe Hello, people. Hey, hello, Stalin. You're welcome. Sorry, I didn't notice you at first. No, if a neighbor touches your child, there's going to be an issue because everyone doesn't have the same belief on discipline. Yes, but before it wasn't like that. Can people be trusted in Africa again? Hmm. I don't think so, Sister Yamin. Are you the ask this one? No, 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 that one. Africa is even worse than Europe now in a diaspora. If you people don't know, African people now, they are so dangerous. They can do anything for money. Even your sister, your brother, even your parents, they can laugh for anything. So, <laughs> be gone are the days. Yes, most Africa speak Yoruba and Igbo. Yes, but your own, my own language, not go there. Speak for them. 
Don't y'all look at you. Man. It's like Ghana. If anything, I love about the Ghanaians. Oh, I love Ghanaians because I have a lot of Ghanaian friends. They are children. They can speak language. When I was living in Belgium, you see Ghanaian parents. Forget about the Dutch. They will tell you they will learn it at school. All their children they give birth to, they speak Ghanaians. But who will be trying to go and teach the English? English will not be. I beg you. Thunder Scorpio, let's dance. Oh, they are pretending they can speak their dialect. Who dash them? Who dash monkey? They cannot talk. Creativity, let's dance. I rock your bell, Stalin. The host, thanks. Oh, thank you. They will even tell you that because you are not even giving birth. That's where you beat another person. Even like, forget Flo J. That one is before people used to tell me I'll be feeling guilty. It's not true. Even if you have 10 children, if you try, they will still abuse you. They'll tell you that I beg, oh, go and take care of your children. Is it my children you want to come and discipline? Even if you have children, it doesn't matter. It just depends on somebody. But in all these things we are saying, you still see someone like me that you will tell that ah, what your child is doing is not good. Look, look, look. I will still tell you, thank you. You understand? They will even tell you, yeah. Turn that scorpion, thanks. I will dance back. I got a progress. Why will someone speak his or a dialect and pretend it's not fair? Okay. Oh. Thank you, Eddie Mark. Host, I like this, your topic. Oh, thank you, Stalin. Contribute as well now. Host, I saw my cosmate daughter in Afro shop for the first time. I was very happy. If you see the way her mom look at the child, the child just ran away. Why did she look at the... Because he was speaking, he wanted to embrace you or what? What happened, Agatha? Why did she run away? And why did the mother look at her like that? Why did she look at her like that? That's the way they behave. It's the way they behave. And you yourself, you'll not be feeling bad. No, you don't need to feel bad. No. You need to know people now. You don't need to feel bad. It's just the way they behave. You don't need to feel bad. You don't need to feel bad at all. You need to be happy. I don't understand this generation that we are living. And we are the ones that go to church. We have... Ha, no, 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 no. In the old days, there's people that don't go to church, that practice all those type of religion, I don't understand. They were good-hearted, they have good minds. Let me read comment. Parents have to be careful. Now, yes, so very careful. I was younger and playing in my neighborhood. This older woman thought she heard me say something, but she misheard. She tried to tell my mother I was lying. I would have lost respect if she took her. Mm -hmm. If she took her side. African people with their behavior. Yes, I understand you, uh, uh, Scorpion. They can be sometimes... Hmm. I know. Stanley said, my African brothers in Moscow, yes, speaks English to me, even when Russia do not speak English. Oh, Stanley, you are in Russia. God bless you. God bless you. God bless you. Even the language they will not know, they will be forcing themselves. What is making you not to speak the language? Ah, no. You will speak your dialect to somebody. Sometimes we all be looking at you as if you don't know you or you don't understand what you are saying. Even here in, uh, on, on YT, I've seen a lot of people. Me, I will not be asking myself, say, me, now, wow, I'll be, I, I, I will not say, okay, well, let me not talk. Let me just, uh, let me just close my mouth because sometimes it's not everything you just be, you be saying. Just pretend that you didn't hear. Huh? It will lead us to nowhere because all the rest community they are growing. They have, in fact, they left us long time ago. The time they left us, eh? it's too big. They left us long time ago. We are just roaming the bat. We don't know where we are going. We don't know where we are coming from. We are left behind in education. In uh, it's only a, you, our country people. You cannot do business with them. You cannot trust them with anything. Trust them with anything. No, you cannot. Some Africa. Some parents pretend they can't speak their dialect. I be oh, why they cannot speak their. So what? 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 what any me? I say it every any. Even the children we give birth to, yeah, they are lost now. Any child, any person that cannot speak his mother, his father tongue language, that person is lost. He's a stranger. Because all these tribal marks that we have, that was the reason 
that gave birth to all these tribal marks in the first place for people to know especially during the time of war when anything is happening so that they will know even where may i come from in my in my in my in my native uh, uh, language in, in in my state there's something they do when our king pass away they cause um when you are born in the community because those days they used to do a lot of sacrifice your parents will tell you that this is the thing that you have to stay in your dialect in case you are captured because if you don't say those things if they ask you some certain question if you are not able to respond they will carry you away so you not go there and be misbehaving uh -huh. the, yeah 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 well, yeah 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 Zizobu. some parents pretend my kids must speak my dad why not if you teach them just that because we didn't know better. Oh, thank you, Eddie, man. Thank you so much. I really appreciate it. Like me, I would say my kids are bigger. But now, by the time I, I started trying to teach them, it was like a bit too late. But at least I'm still happy that anything I'm saying, my dad, that, that they understand perfectly. That was the, the reason why they, when they got to a certain age, me and the father, we just decided every season we were going to Nigeria just for them to know all their cousins, everybody. But now, I thank God for our life that we did a very great job. The way my son, my first son, even love uh, Nigeria, I don't even think me myself love Nigeria like that. So, home is home, especially when both come from there. It's not that you are married to a white person that you will say, mm, after all, my child will not like to go. Even if you are married to a white person, it doesn't matter. I always say to people, it's what you teach your children, they will know. But most people, they say, my children don't like Nigeria. Who told you? Who told you? Give them a treat. Treat them like king and queens. Take them there. Don't go and take them and keep them at home where there is no light. Definitely, next time when you are taking them there, they will not go. They won't go. Let them go there as if they are going on real vacation. Not the way you used to go. When you go, you go and sit down at home because that is your Latin and Africa people know. They will say they are traveling. They go on vacation. It's only Nigeria they go. And the Nigeria vacation they will go. It's inside as they will sleep. They will not even go out. They buy a bag of rice. All the food at home. They will be eating. Family will be coming. They will say they have gone to vacation. No. Don't do your children like that. That's no good. That's wickedness and selfishness. If Lodge say even our Nigerian people here, if they see you, they will start speaking Italian. Imagine. Not that one me they talk all mm, language to you. And you, we all are Nigerian. They will start saying shao. Shao. Mm. Yeah, Floje, my dear. Mm. You are still there, shao. May not be say the quality say now nah, let you not know, speak Italian. Speak for them. And the worst part, those of them that are doing it like this, the Italians, not that they can really speak it perfectly. They are speaking the broken one because they didn't even go to school. Imagine you that is even going to school now. You will be speaking perfectly, fluently with them. They cannot even speak the one you are uh, uh, speaking. But they are the one that will initiate it. They are the one that will initiate it. So me, I don't know what is wrong with our, our people, really. We have to... I, I've been saying it that one day we need to I will organize one day that all women, even if men want to join, shall no problem. We need to pray for our community for God to reestablish her and they don't want to speak English with you. Uh -huh. Which English they want to speak? They don't want to speak English. Maybe some of them cannot even speak English now. But at least for me, whether you can speak English, you cannot speak English, not my business, because in Nigeria. We have a lot of dialect and pidgin English is accepted. It's even in the dictionary, if you guys don't know. Even in UK, yeah, most white people, even if you go to offices, people that don't go to school that are here, they understand pidgin because they can even Google it. It's on Google. And they don't want to... Don't, people get so upset, yeah, if you don't speak English. Usually it's white, so white folk, yeah, uh, people too. In fact, over Mumu, they worry them. Mumu iti. <laughs> At Floje. They don't speak with their children. No. Eh? They don't speak. With, they'll be speaking language. Because normally, if we are not really Mumu, you have children. Any country you are, if you like, you are in Italy, you are, even me that is in UK, you are in America, you are in Belgium, you are in Dutch, anywhere you are. That language they are speaking there. Provided that your children will go to school, definitely they will speak it fluently. But the best thing for you to do, once your child starts growing up, like Dominion now, you start speaking your language to, to him. But what do we do? We'll not start speaking English that we don't know. The English that is not our language. 
their children can't speak English or their dialect. What a shame. You see? Very bad. If their children cannot speak even English, Miss T try. Their children cannot speak English. You cannot speak their dialect Italy. It's true, it's common in Italy. I know a lot of people in Italy, they are like that. Their children, when they bring them, there was uh, I know a lot of people. I know a lot of people. Let me not go there. I know a lot of people like that. I know a lot. Their children will just be speaking because I remember one time when we went on holiday with my kids and my husband to I think it was to Florence. Where we went to when I went to visit one of uh, my extended uh family friend in those days yeah we went to the house their children and my kids was not like they don't even understand anything can't they even speak english because of their form and carry body yes i was like yeah it's italian so what do you and it, it will be very difficult because like such children anyway they don't even most italian uh women they don't even take their kids so many ways, so I would have said if they go to Nigeria, how will they communicate if they still have grandparents? How will they communicate? So most of them, they don't even go home. They don't even travel, so no need. If they want to buy ticket, they buy for late themselves. Husband and wife from Nigeria. Yeah, imagine a while. Lo, we always wonder when people started speaking in their native tongue. Where are they talking? In their native, where they talking about us? No, you don't have to. It's my, it's our native tongue. It's like when you are speaking English, somebody that can't speak English is there. Maybe like in America, you are in America, a Belgian man or a Dutch man came and is, is with is with you and your friends or your your people speaking English. He won't be thinking, are you speaking? Are you talking about me? Because he don't know what you are speaking, until he asks. So it's like that. Because that mentality, Scorpion, I think that's one of the things also that is making our people not to speak up. It's not, it's, not, it's not correct as well. That's why I want to learn an African language, to speak in code. Hmm. Which one will you learn first? We have a lot to. Anyone you want to learn, we are ready. We will teach you to our best ability. Because we are still looking for a... It's Flo J. That, what, that was Flo J's job, right? To look for Nigerian woman for thunder. <laughs> like when we go in Chinese restaurant, mainly. Okay, you see the Chinese community, they speak only their language. Even when you want to take uh, uh, do takeaways, they'll still be simply speaking their chan 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 chan. Anyway, that was, I don't know. I, I, I went last to a Chinese restaurant maybe 20 years ago. God forbid, why will I go to a Chinese restaurant? Instead of me to go to a Chinese restaurant, I'll go to an African restaurant. When Zimbabwean are there, Kenya, all the African, you cushion, you try it. That's where we are doing wrong as well. Instead of us, yes, Scorpion Nigerian web, instead of us to patronize our fellow uh, black people, we prefer the, the, the white color. The white supremacy. We grew up going to Chinese restaurants, so we just always wonder. Yeah, it's true. I know. But it's high time we we change some certain things. Because those people, if they I don't I'm a child of God. If there's people I dis, detest in my life, they are the they are the people. I don't want to mention their name because it won't sound as if I'm a, I'm nothing. Fantastic blows, I need more recipe. Yes, yeah, so you understand. Those people, they will never buy from you. They will never eat your food. They will never do anything from you. But we, the black people, we are the one making them richer every day. We eat their food. We buy their sheep bag. We buy their sheep shoes. We buy everything. In fact, if it's possible, say, we will even buy them. We make them richer every day. And they will be looking down on us. Don't you see what they are doing to our brothers and sisters in China? Even to their children, Chinese speak their language to their children here in Italy. Of course now, they will never speak your language. They will never buy from you. They will never eat your food. I got a progress. Okay, sis. They will never do nothing for, with you. They don't. They are not interested in you. They are you're interested in that, their community. They do things together. They are like the Indian people as well. They do. The Indian people, they may be jealous of one another because India is big. It's like Nigeria also because when you see them, you think, okay, they will tell you, no, this one is from so 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 side. They have different culture, but the ones that come from a certain place, they love themselves. I used to go to African bookstore in my neighborhood. Any 
team from Africa. I was going to source to support, but some people do not want any connection. Don't mind them. It's inferiority that is dealing with some people and lack of knowledge. You know, ignorance. I always say ignorance is not an excuse because ignorance, according to the English people, is not knowing. So when you doesn't know something, it doesn't make it right either. So it's lack of not knowing that is wrong with some black people. Yeah, black and white Indian. Yes, ma. It's what yes, it's what is wrong with some of them. Yeah, you see the uh, the, the the white Indians, they think they are they are the yoga. They don't even they speak ill of the black Indians. They will tell you they are not this that 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 that. Yeah, understand. But we we have the same. We come from the same place, but we are. For me, the most people that are most racist on this earth is Nigerian people. But it's that we say, ah, well, you both not like us. We like ourselves. Let's be true, true to ourselves. Even we, we come from the same state. Like in Delta State, you will see Urobo person will not like Kwale person or Ishekiri. They will still be fighting. Or you see Edo people. A, a Bini person, you will not like Ishan people. We will say they are different. So what is that? And they are, and all of us are from the same state. Yeah, black and white. Even from our side, some black Americans don't want any association. Yes, it's like that. It depends on an individual anyway. You know, some people so they are introverts. So when 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 people that are introverts, you can't really do anything about them because it's their character is what they are. It's what they are. You can't change them. You can't change them. You can't change them. So there's nothing you can do about it. Everything about them is so... It's not that they are secretive, but they are so private. They don't want anything they are doing to go to the outside world. They are just... They, they, they just like to keep within themselves. Even such people, if you go very close to them, maybe if you are part of their family, you will see that that's the way they even do. They are not even so close to their siblings or even their parents. Because it's in beauty, it's just in them. Introvert people, they are like that. So what can we do about that? So we can't change them. But we just need to do our best. So we have tried today, we have discussed about neglect. So our women, we should try as much as possible. Even if we are working, find time to, for your children. Because there's nothing like quality time being spent with your child. Especially when they are still young. That's the memory they always keep in their brain. A lot of words connection because we we know that's where we come from, but we have no history of it. Though very sad, that's bad for people not to know their history. That one, no, that one hard, like, that one hard though. Scorpio, that one is not good. Thank God I know my history. I know where I'm coming from. So don't worry. Be following us. We as Africans, we are the same. We will teach you. We will tell you most of the history. So one day you'll be visiting us when we are going to Nigeria. So everything will be balanced. You understand? So let me do my hair well before I go. Yeah. Don't suffer you. So as women, we have to try our best. I won't say some men. Some men are really trying to. Hmm. The, way bad, the way you see bad men, that's why you see bad women. Some women, you can't help them at all. That is the way you can't help some men also. But as women, because we are the mothers, we are the builders of the house, it is very necessary for us to have that connection with our children, that bond. Because if you don't build it in an early age, once they get, when they are not teenagers, it's now you want to start building it. It is difficult. That's where a lot of things go wrong. Because if you don't have a connection with your child, it's the way I always say, if you don't marry your husband, your marriage will always be a problem. The same way, if you don't have, if you are not a friend with your child, you your child will have problems as well. Scorpio, much love. You when you get married to a Nigerian sister, you come to Africa exactly. Your child will have problems, especially the male children. I thank God for our boss today today. She talked about how to train our children and what we have learned so far in marriage. So at least this time, even if your child is still a baby. As far as you have, 
be able to be pregnant for nine months and giving birth, and you have been in marriage for that one year, you should have learned something, and you should have learned that connection between you and the child. So, for me, I'm speaking from another perspective, as because teenager uh, taking care of uh, younger children is different from taking care of uh, teenage children. It's step by step, step by step. That's uh, that's why sometimes I don't like to mix things together. You understand? Except you are there, sometimes you will never understand because you see some women when they see some children behaving somehow. Don't let me use the word abnormal. Or, Behaving summer, let me use the word summer. Maybe their children are still small. They'll be telling you, ah, if my if my if it's my child, no, I can never accept that. If me, if my child, I will deal with that child. No child of mine will behave like that. Yes, mommy, thank you. We understand. But Tom that said, I will come to enjoy some African song and culture. Yeah, that would be great. You understand? So according to uh, who was here in the beginning that was trying to confuse. That was trying to hurt was Didi. Because when we, we were saying, he not chipping something and told me that I should remember. Good evening, everyone. Hey, SBF, welcome. Thank you for coming. He now told me that I should remember that no matter what, some parents, they have paid their dues, they have trained their children the best of their ability. But do you know that some children, once they grow older, they still derate. I know. But that doesn't mean because the children doesn't want to listen to their parents anymore that we shouldn't do our own. We should still try. That's why I now said that. When you have tried, when your children are not grown up, they are adults, they now try to kind of don't want to do what you are doing anymore. Like we say, okay, when the children are young, you need to take them to church. Taking them to church from an early age, it doesn't necessarily mean that when they are big, they will not be going to church, they will not become Christian, no. But you just need to do it because that is what you know how to do best. So that was why a question I okay, that don't you know that most pastors they give birth to wayward children, which is true. Does that mean that the pastors and they didn't they didn't train the children well? No, they 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 taught them the best they could do. But it's not left for the children when they grow older, as uh, Europe has given them the mandate that once they are 18 years they can live on freedom. They have given them freedom. Freedom to hell. Eh? They think, according to psychology, 18 years, you are not fully developed. A child's brain or a human brain, even a man or a woman, gets developed at the age of 21. Not 18. 18 is still a child. He doesn't even still know the, between right and wrong. He can, in, in, in that age, they make rash decisions. But they get really developed at the age of 21, from 21 upwards. That's when that maturity begins to come, that they begin to know what is really good from what is bad. So most of us that have adult children, I'm begging us also, don't say because your child is 18 years, you start making some nasty and silly uh, excuses or, or decision. You will not be thinking, ah, it's an adult, it's grown already. No, it's not grown yet. Because that time, if you remember in your life as well in Africa, those are the age that parents and most girls and boys make a lot of mistakes in their life from the age of 17, 18, 19. So that's why I said yesterday that something sometimes in African community there is a there is a norm among us, it goes in cycles, not until we put a stop to it, it will never go. We need to educate ourselves more. That's why I always advocate for women. That if you know you are not doing anything now because you are the your children hero, as far as your children are still small, anything they see you do is in their mind. It's what they want to do when they get older. It's only when they now become older, they will not realize that, no, this thing that my mother was doing was not good. Why was my mother doing this thing? It was no good. But it will come to a time when they can really question you, your authority. They will even tell you. It's like some, some, some children will tell you when they need something, you tell them, I don't have money, you don't know I'm working. They'll tell you, why are you not working? All your mates are working. What are you doing now? Are you sick? But when they say it to you, you will not be angry. They'll say the children, they don't have respect. 
It's you that didn't make them to respect you. And also the ones that are walking that where I was going before, buying your your your, your children, PlayStation, uh, tablets, all the gadgets to play with at home. It doesn't buy love for the children. That won't make them to love you. You have to have that at the back of your mind because children need that quality time with their parents. That time they can run around you. That time they can cuddle you, that you can cuddle them. That time they can whisper to your, your ears. That time they can tell you things to confide in you. By the time that time is not there, you are not there with them. You have lost it in life. Eh? You have lost it. Because by the time they don't find you, that's where they now start nurturing all that things. And by the time they get to a teenage age, you want to not change them. Because in every teenager, there is rebellion. That's one thing we have to know. There is the grace of God that is upon you that you have started training that child. That's why in counseling, I always say to people, like that a message I, 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 I did. Someone, I told you someone wrote something. <laughs> anyway, I don't have to mind anybody. That we are saying men, 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 men have their role to play as a woman. You as a woman, you have your role to play. By the time you as a woman now start playing the role of a man at home, there's problem. It means there's an error. You as a mother, God has given you that garment of praise, of honor, to become a mother to your husband, a mother to your children. You need to guide them. Forget, I always say, men need to know how to cook. Fine. It's just a second just to be there. It doesn't necessarily mean if the men now know how to cook, that you will not leave them in the kitchen. Left for me, I don't want, my husband can cook very well, but I don't want him to cook, except I'm very tired. And even at that, they know me at home. Once they have cooked, I will shut that day. My son knows how to cook. But sometimes, I don't even want them to cook. You know why? Because they will mess up my kitchen. So I prefer to cook. So if anybody has ever called me, I'm always in the kitchen. I like, it's not that I like to cook as, but I prefer to cook and clean my kitchen than for the men to cook and mess up my kitchen. So even if you teach them how to cook, you teach them respect, but you as the woman, you are the one that still need to initiate it because you cannot wake up in the morning and want your husband to come and, despite that there are some men that God has blessed that will still wake up in the morning, they'll be the first to tell their wife, hey, only good morning, how was your night? Did you sleep well? But that should be the duty of a woman. But it doesn't mean that woman have to do, do it every time. So if the man was well brought up, that's how you, you know them. Some single mothers have babies, young, and mother's daughters become like best friends in the wrong way. So it's very bad also. So when the mother tries to discipline the child, she can't because she more like a home girl. Yeah, that's the problem. That's the problem. That's where we are going also in Scorpio. We as parents, we need to draw boundaries. My husband will cook everywhere. We'll be messy. It's what I'm saying now. But he likes to cook. I cannot stop. It's not that I can stop also. You don't understand me. Me, I cannot stop as well. But most of the time, we like to be there. So when they are doing it, I will just be helping to be picking. Out. You understand? Now you know what I'm saying. But yeah, like before, for like the way you will do, I know maybe your husband is cooking. You will just leave him in the kitchen for him to your cook and finish. Everywhere will be messy. When you go there, you will not put your face or you, you will squeeze your face. Oh, ah, I don't know. You, you, you know how to cook, but you don't know how to clean. Oh God. So it's like that. But even at that, we sh you are lucky. We should rejoice because there are a lot of men that cannot cook. There are a lot of men that cannot even boil rice. You cannot even make uh, the simplest food. Uh, which one is the simplest food to make in abroad? Indomie. Mm. Some men cannot even. <laughs> some men cannot even make indomie. You understand? So, uh, Scorpio, I understand what you are saying. That's why I'm saying we should draw the boundary as well. You making your children your friend. It doesn't necessarily mean pastor. Yes, it doesn't necessarily mean because they are your friend. You now give them the privilege. Like me, I used to say to my kids, so I'm very, they know me. I'm very friendly. You can tell me anything. I can play with you. But when it gets to some certain stage, they know me. They can know that, ah, mama, I've started to everything. Oh, you are welcome, sis. Or is it brother? Is sister? Thank you. Welcome, sister. Please don't forget my thumbs up as you come in. You understand? You have to 
make a distinction between you and your child. You making your child your friend doesn't necessarily mean that you have to condole his or her SSs. No. It's what I say between a mother-in-law and a daughter-in-law. If your child is doing wrong, it's not because it's your child that because you want to make your child your friend. So when he's doing the wrong thing, when she's going the wrong path, you will not tell her. No, 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 no. That means <laughs> at the end, you will braid monster. It's what used to happen in Africa also. You see all these young girls, they are, because their mother gave birth to them very young, as you said, it's very correct. They will not be making friends with their daughter. Their daughter will be going out, buying gifts for them. They will not even tell their daughter the truth. You see their daughter going out with different people that God knows. Because of the present, the mother cannot even open her mouth to tell the daughter that my daughter, you are treading a wrong path. This thing you are doing is not good. Because if he says it, because he has already made a mistake, she cannot correct him. But there is no mistake that cannot be corrected if you have a good counsel. So it doesn't matter because you are, you are, the time you are training your children, you are making them your friend. At the same time, you are being a disciplinarian. So they will know the difference that, okay, now, if I do this thing, my mother will not like it or she will be very angry with me. So they will put, there is a gap, there is a bridge. So when you get to that gap, they will not want to cross it over. But by the time you leave them alone and say, they will just, they will say, I beg, I can't do anything. Please, my mother will not say anything or my father will not say anything. If they say anything, say, don't you sit on young people. They will not sleep at home. Me, I gave birth to my children. Yeah, I, will, I can say it categorically. Yeah, in the live stream, all my friends know me. They are looking at me. My children have never done sleep over one day till they became adult and teenager. Never, I never allowed it. I don't want it. But their friends sometimes do come. They do, do, do sleep over when they were still a teenager. But me and my husband, even if I would have allowed my husband, he would not he say, no, go ahead. I say, ah, no, 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 no. I will not try that one. Never. Instead, you say, tell your friends to come. Let me call their parents. I'll say, hey, so you are the king. Your children cannot go. It's only your children, friends that can come. So there are certain things that you have to do with your children. You have to put the boundary. It doesn't mean because you are their friends that you cannot tell them the truth. That one is bad. That is where our African parents are getting it wrong as well. Even my mom don't allow us there. When my friends do come to sleep. Yeah, that's that's me. I don't. They come. You can come. I'll cook. I'll do everything. Even when they are going, they will hug me and tell me, oh, your mom is the best. Your mom is very friendly. That's my name. Even when I go to their school, my, my boys sometimes they will not be very angry. So any school we go to, any teacher, any class we enter, they must like you and be saying your mom is very nice. Your mom is very friendly. It's used to meeting now. Yes, it's like that. That is how I am also. So there's a way you need to train up your children. You understand? So they will be your friends, your confidant. Anything happening to them, they will report back to you. But sometimes some mothers also, they want to become their, 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 their children's friend. At the same time, they scare them away. It's not everything that your children tells you that you have to report to your husband. First, you have to look at some things. But when you think that ah, these things are not good, though, ah, it will bring problems. Then you tell it to your husband. Yeah, I feel you on that at flow. You understand? So it's like that. There are a lot of things that have to be put in, into consideration when you are training up little children. Because <laughs> these children that will give birth to, before, be, before they become a teenager, in that age of before 10, my daughter isn't going where their older bro brothers. <laughs> You see, that's where you lay the foundation for them. Because once they have missed it in that early age, it's difficult to, because once they become teenagers, they will rebel. There's rebellion going on as you need to pray very well for your children. There's rebellion in every teenage children. Even you yourself, you have rebelled before when you were a teenager. There's an age you will get to even when we're in Africa. Yeah, so the start, the training start now. Everything you want them to know. Don't think that they are children, they don't know what they are doing. You start correcting children right from when they are sucking, when they still suck you. You see some babies, for you to know what the children know. When some babies are sucking, they will, they will bet their mother. But if you just shout, hey, bet me. Next time we do it. But by the time you spark, 
By the time you spark the baby, that ah, you bet me don't. I will take the 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 the, the, the orange, the, the from from me so her mouth. They will look at you. Some baby they will smile. Then you won't because what we don't understand as mothers, baby start hearing your voice when they were in your womb. It's not when you give birth to them that they know you. They already know your voice when they were in your womb. That's why if you go to therapy, you know it's only our black people we never go to therapy because most of them they think that therapy is for mad people. When you do, uh, when you are pregnant, there are some exercises they want you to do like uh, you swim in the uh, like. Is swimming but not really swimming like because of the baby and uh, music therapy all these things you understand when you play music they'll tell you to play music there's difference i tell you like my second uh, born when i second child right from the day i was pregnant i was a choir mistress there in the church even when i'm tired i go to church i sing thing if i tell you everybody that goes to my church they know that I'm not bluffing now. When it was like, it was not even up to, it was not even up to five years. There was a day in the church that our band master did it come. This child, he played for us to dance in the church. That is how, children, there are some tears, but it all depends on the parents. Oh, that's why it's good for pregnant women to always talk to their, yes, that's what I'm saying. In the uterus, not when you're born. You, you don't have to wait first when you not give birth to your child before you not be squad. In the tummy, you start talking to them because some baby, when they're in the tummy, they have started doing what they will do when they come out. They'll kick you. Like that, when they are kicking your tummy, it's when you start telling them, call the name you want to call them. Stop this thing you are not doing. It's not good. You are hurting me. Play with them and pray for them. Yes. Exactly. You pray for them, you... What do you want them to become? You tell them when they are still in your uterus, in your womb. Don't wait till they come down before you now start praying for them, before you now start saying all the things. Sometimes by then, what do you think? So it's from there. You train them from the young age. You teach them the things they're supposed to know. All the things they are supposed to know. Don't wait till when they are they are ten years before you now start teaching them. When they are they are they are when it's already late for them. No, those type of teaching is the physical teaching. But when it comes to life teaching, uh, when it comes to life, thank you, a uh, 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 scorpion. Yes, so degree, degree into your life. Right. Well, let me read your comment about said it. Yes. Degree into their decree, okay. Decree into their life, right from yes, yeah, right from the womb. It's right from the womb, eh? because you are their mother, you are the one that carried them. That's why you are their rapper. Call them all the good name, yes. You are their rapper, you are their covering. So, anything you say to them, that's why they'll say when somebody have a mother, it's difficult for something to happen to the child, yes. Because right from the womb, your mother will be praying for you. Even when you give birth to you, even if I still have a mother as big as I am, he will still be praying for me with his with her breast open at night in the morning, anytime you want to pray. That's how we should be also like the olden days women. That's why I say to us, we need to be a mother to our husbands, whether they are good or not. I know some people will say, what a bad, bad husband that does it a brief food. It doesn't matter. Your prayer, your patience, your love can change your husband. I pray many more that start this on time. Yes, you're not so, you, you need to start praying. You can you wake up at night when everybody are praying. Go to their room, lay hands on them, put your, your hand in your tummy, in your breast, at, in your head, lay your hands on them. I decree upon you, you'll be a better person. That character you are trying to exhibit is not your own. I reject it from your life in the name of Jesus. From now on, you are good. And we should stop using negative things on our children also. Like all those our 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 our, our ancient mothers used to do because of anger. Start uh, pronouncing difficulties. The only thing that I'm trying to stop also, because some children really they can really they can really do something that will make you so aggressive that you want to abuse but that one doesn't come i always say don't let if i say I should. it's like that they will not start laughing say, ah, mama. it's like that yeah. 
Oh, that is my mother you are talking about, and I got that for her. Really? That's how I am. <laughs> That's just me. <laughs> they will not start laughing at me. I say, oh, Mama. I'll say, oh, God. But in my mind, I say, what will I do with these children? So it's like that. We need to learn. But by the time you start speaking negativity on your children, it do affect them in every way. Oh, that's my mother. I thought I said, Mama, this is I have to get some home chores done. If you are on tomorrow, I'll be there. Oh, thank you, Scorpio. I really appreciate I really appreciate you. Thank you for your contribution. Thank you for everything. Thank you for always coming back to my LS. You are such an amazing personality. You are such a blessing to me as well. Thank you so, so much. I appreciate everything about you. Don't worry. Very soon, Flo J and Tim, I'm among them. We are going to get you your Nigeria wife. You know Flo, Flo J is, is creativity. She can, she can bake for Africa. She can cook for Africa. She's creative in every way. She will be the one that will sew your uh, omugo. Peace and love. Shout and love. Yes. Thank you so much. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye. Take care. I boss her day is laughing. Yes, so. So, that is how it is. So, women, we have a lot of job to do. So, it's not, it's not always okay for us. It's good for us to love. Huh? I'm not saying we shouldn't love our husband. We should love our husband. But also, we should try and bring a generation that we'll be proud of. Because if we don't train them now, we will not like to be a crying mother tomorrow. After all this stress, at your young age, you have worked, you have schooled, you have taken care of your children, packed their caca, their pee pee, wash and do all these things. And at the end, when they become bigger, for them to not turn around and bite you to be by yes, mommy, most are the women. Yes, so it's the women. Me, I, I, I'm a woman, I won't lie. I always say it, the fault of the male is small. It's very small. It's very small. Most of the time, it's we women. So that's the reason why we women also. You will see a prayer woman. It's difficult for anything to happen to her and her husband. Even if the strange woman comes, the way they come, they vanish as well. Because that fire, I will, in fact, where they go? It's the man that will just stay at home himself. He will say, no, I don't tire. I'm not going anymore. He will even tell you the way. See this number. If the person call, tell the person that you should not call a girl. Tell the person that I'm not around. Or don't pick the number. Or just delete it. Or don't just pick. You understand? But by the time you close your mouth, there's an error. Because I know that when we women are angry, that's one thing we should know also. When we are angry, everything stops at home. Your home will not be moving anymore. There will not be happiness. Even your husband. Don't try to because if you try it, it will happen. If you are angry with your husband, just try that one. Maybe your husband do something to you that you don't like. Just be angry for, for him, at him, for a period of some time, which is very bad. Nothing will be moving in the home. But you can just sleep and wake up. You think you are still living. No. And if it gets so long, that's why you see a lot of men. There will not be progress in the home. There will not be progress in the life of the man as well. Anything he does, he will just be slowing down. Because you as the woman, you are not happy for him. Because you are his wife. One plus one is one. It's no more two. So that's why we have to pray for them. Even the men also, they have to pray for us. I know some men, many men will say they don't know how to pray. But when bad things happen, they will not start praying. The men also need to pray for us. They need to pray for us, their wives. They need to advise us. They need to stand by us. They need to pray for their children. They need to support. Because any man that is not supporting now, oh, at the end, it will be sorry. To be sorry, oh, because the children you didn't feed today, you will not expect the children to come and feed you tomorrow. The children you didn't clot today, you will not expect those children to come and clot you tomorrow. It is what it is. Nobody can change it. Nobody. So everybody have to know their places. Everybody have to, to put on their, 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 their dancing shoes and dance to whatever music they want to dance to.
provided a dancing good. Provided a dancing good. And we as women, we should learn as well not to be neglecting our children. The way we are, we are, we are clotting our children. Let us clot ourselves as well. You don't have to go to too much expense. Thank God for Primark. It's in every country now. Primark clothes for little children, especially those of you that still have little children, especially guest children. They have a lot of things that are beautiful that you can use at home. Then if you say, okay, you want to buy expensive, I know that a lot of, uh, uh, what is it called again? I've forgotten all those ones. I don't remember again. Eh? Those names in Europe that where you can buy a, a, a cheap clothes for, for, for your children and buy for yourself. Zara is there. Zara is very cheap. Zara is very, very cheap. You can find good things for your boys' children at Zara. You can find for your guests as well that are still very young. That when you wear it, you come out, people will say, wow. There also you can find for yourself. So because I'm not in agreement with such women that will be dressing their children and they will not dress. No, that one is not good at all. That one is not good. Because the children will grow to a certain age as well. They will be telling you their mother as well. That ah, my mother. Because people, the thing that we don't understand that people always talk. They will always talk. And they talk with the children as well. The children have friends. They have eyes. They communicate. You have friends. You talk to your friends. That is the way your children talk also. All the secrets you will learn by your friends. You learn it from your children. All your secrets as well that your friends will learn from from their children. They learn it from your children as well. Because they speak, they talk. Anything that is happening at home, you think they don't talk. That's why we have to we have to correct our brain. We have to go do well. We have to behave. That's why I always say that if there is divorce, the people that it affects most is the children. Yeah, pray mark. It's everywhere. Eh? It's everywhere. Where you will not see children not dressing fine. Why won't you go to Primark and buy things for your children? For them to be looking tattered. Even if you are very poor that you don't have money, you can, you can be able to afford the things there. It's only when the children are big that they, don't, they will tell you they will not wear. I know that one for sure. Because they won't, they won't take it from you. It's then they will need men. They, they, they want that name. They want to wear neck shoe. Adidas, anything that doesn't have a name, they don't want to put it on. But before it gets there, if they are still little, you can buy from there for them to wear it at home. Then you can buy a, 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 the ones that are a bit expensive for church or to go to party or to go visiting. You buy for yourself as well. So let's try and do all these things so we can change our community. Let's start loving our children because the love we put to our children, it will make them not to go astray tomorrow. But by the time the parents are not loving their children, the, the children are growing up with hatred. By tomorrow, what do you want them to become? They will become something else. That's why when anybody now profess love to their outside, they tend to grab it not knowing that that's not real love, it's fake. Yes, designers, they want one. Ah, when no, don't go there. Me, I'm not talking about. Let me know your stock because uh, when your children are grown up, that's why I said when your children are still young, it's good. Stay at home with them, cuddle them, teach them what they need to know. Then once they are a bit grown up, go to work because uh, you need it for yourself and for them. Ah, I think Mama Josila is here. Welcome, Mommy. Let me read your message. At Mama the Super Hello, I've been listening for the past 30 minutes or more. Oh, was it Flo Creativity that left? No, it was Scorpion. Uh, Flo is still here. It was Scorpion that left. Oh, thank you, Mommy. That means you have something to contribute there. Since you have been listening to me for the past 30 minutes. Flo is still here. She's greeting you, Mama. Welcome, Mama Josila. Miguo, Miguo, Miguo. Flo J is still here. So, Mama... Welcome on me. You have been listening. That means you have something great to tell me. We really rocked it yesterday. Do you know the time we left here yesterday? One we Christ didn't come today. Maybe she's busy or she forgot or she's doing some tears. Or she will, if she come late today, because once she just come, I will close. I won't stay. Yes, yeah, so I'm still here, mommy. She's still there. 
then ah is greeting a floje in a robo everyone are greeting you well done mommy Jusila. yes so we thank god we thank god we thank god so that is how it is it is the way it is so we have to change our ways no competition but we have to learn how to love our children thumbs up for the host Hey, Biruka, you didn't go and sleep. Look at this girl. <laughs> you didn't go and sleep. <laughs> I thought you said you were going to sleep. You are nasty. You came back. Wado men do it. Floje, be reading it. Be reading it. I typing it in English. Oh. What uh, your mama is writing. Agatha is going. No, it's Agatha that will have translate. I trust Agatha. But this is my goddaughter, Floje. I don't trust her like that too. Floji, you, have you vanished right now? Right, 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 right. Write it in English. Let's see. Write it, write it, write it. Wagba Moduri. Am I right? <laughs> I try. Ah, you guys are so... You guys are awesome. So that it is. So we have tried for today. You guys... Any more things to be dealt with? And for that woman, what do you think we can do to for that woman now? Uh, I gave 32 tons of okay. Thank you, mommy. I appreciate. What do you think we can do for that woman? I told told you guys about the one that lives in uh, Italy, that the man left with uh, four children in Nigeria and four here in uh, Europe. I thought you left it. Biruke. Me too. I thought as much. She could it. She she has been addicted to my voice, maybe. I thought <laughs> no, maybe she came back. So, Sister Yemi, what do you have anything to say to me so I can write it down? What can what do you think we can do for the woman? Because our boss said they gave her opinion before that she should go and look for a job and work. But uh, she doesn't have documents. But she's doing the type of job that people that don't have paper are doing there. Uh, they call it Shoroti. I be a uh, Floje. Is it not Shoro? They call it. In Italy, people that don't have documents, what they do. It's what the woman is doing. She do. She does Shoroti. But you know, in this lockdown, it's not easy. With the man, runaway man. Huh? Yes, it's Shoroti. I'm right. It's what she's doing. With her husband that ran away. Okay, like that one that ran away, they are still in Europe. The children in Africa, is it that one you will not go and take care of? That one, those ones are right off now. We will not even cut them because everything will not be on, on top of the woman's head. Because she's the one that, that, that didn't think, she didn't reason well. What does the woman want? Do I know? What does she want? What does she want? Maybe, you know, sometimes... You can't really, when you are confused, Sister Yemi, it's difficult to, you don't know. You can't really think straight to. It's people that will not be thinking for you. That's the position she is now. What does she want? Does she know what she wants? She doesn't know what she wants. At it is now, because it's prayer first, no documents, no money. So what will she want? Okay, Floje says she's on call. No problem, Floje. Come and give you up before we round up. You understand? So sometimes it's really devastating the way our women behave because they won't even think, they won't reason, they won't. Especially, I always say, woman, once you have children, you have to be able to put your children into consideration sometimes when you are making some decision. You have to know that, okay, now it's not only me anymore. If I make such decision, will it affect my children? They become all in the name of marriage because our African women, they have turned marriage to another thing that I don't understand. The time they're supposed to run with their, with their four legs or borrow and run with their six leg, they will not run. Okay, I should ask her. Okay, Doro is gone. I was asking Doro before. Okay, I will try and go on. 
I think it's money she wants. I will go on. I will ask the Robles. I will ask the Robles. The time they're supposed to run away from a toxic marriage, they won't run, they'll still be there. All the money they will gather, they will use it to play love. Hey, that's happy king. Hmm. Welcome. Welcome, 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 welcome. My thumbs up. Oh. At us, why are you blaming the woman? No, it's not that I'm blaming her completely, but in a way, I'm blaming her also. I did not hear the woman's predicament. Jessica, I'm still at the door. No, do you know what happened, mommy? Mommy, let me tell you what happened. I will blame her because this woman, according to the story that she told, I wish is very correct because Doro went to find out as well. She had four children in Nigeria, four girls. For her husband. You understand? Then the husband now came to Europe. He now abandoned her as an abandonment. By the time the man now went home for the first time, it's like he didn't even look for the woman like that because she now got another woman pregnant. The woman now gave birth to a male child. But she and this woman that have four children, maybe they were still communicating their birth. You know the type of husband and wife that they do in Africa. It's not like, uh, yeah, I don't know. So by the time the husband now left and came back to abroad, she, the woman, she now wanted to come to abroad, but the husband did not bring her. She now went and sold her, her, husband, her mother's land and used it to travel through Libya. And now went to Italy. I met her husband. They now started marrying again. Then in Italy, she now had another three children. It was the fourth one that she was having that the husband, maybe it's the husband's plan, they now, now took her to Germany. She was in Germany that she gave birth to the fourth one. So during her time of stay in Germany, all the money the sister was paying her, why I blame her, that's the reason I'm blaming her. She was giving her the money to her husband because the husband have condoled, <laughs> you know now, have professed love that is not there for her, that they will be doing business. The man was buying cars, loading it and sending it to Africa. He was going there as well. Not or not to the woman that, the things that the woman was, that she and her husband was doing, the husband was using it to play love with another woman back in Nigeria. Until she now gave birth to the fourth one year again, making eight children. So recently, Germany, but I said she should be grateful because if Jama have deported down her, her children to Nigeria, there will have been nothing that anybody have would have done. So the German government deported her back to Italy. When she now got to Italy, because the man now knew that money is not coming anymore, he now said he don't want relationship anymore. He left her with the children alone. You get it, just that's why me I'm blaming the women. Because it's not only she most women, they are like that. They don't I don't know. Because you see a lot of them, their husband, they say the so called but because I think the man in the first place don't love the woman because there's no if you love somebody, you can never treat somebody like that. Never. You can't treat somebody you love like that. The death happy king, mama me go up. Get up, you say thank you, Mama Josila. You get it, Mommy Josila. So, what do you have to say about that? So, that's it. So, how can we help such a woman now? Because now the situation now is, is grievous for her because she, she hasn't got any document now, you know. A German government deported her back to Italy. No document, no job. Now she's doing shorty, as I said. And now it's locked down. It's not totally open. So she's kind of suffering. And this type of suffering, I would say it was caused by her partially. That's why I'm blaming her in a way. It's not that I'm completely blaming her anyway, because women, men are so, oh God, God help all these women, really. Because women, the way they love like Mumu, I don't understand. The woman we know, 
the situation will be able to say what she needs. She must know what she wants. Yeah, it's true. I will ask. No problem. At all, it's lack of education. Exactly. That gets women behaving like, oh, thank you. Lack of education. Lack. Ah, no, really. Because I don't understand at all. I don't understand. I don't understand. Because my own, I always say, when you are moving with, at, when you are going out with a man, there is an extent a man will behave that you should be able to, to put a finger and know that this man he doesn't love me. Even the men also, they should not, even if men pretend, women pretend, but there are certain things, there are certain uh, 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 small things, there are certain things that you put in, into consideration that will make you to realize that, ah, this type of behavior that this man is behaving, I don't understand. I think he doesn't love me. That happy king, you didn't give me my thumbs up. When mommy Josila came, she gave me the 32. Oh, I didn't see it. Maybe you gave me that happy king, no vessel. Mm. You understand? So it's really saddens my heart to see our community, the way men are using our women like rags, and the women also, the way they are degrading themselves, the way they are, they are, I don't know, they are using like them like trash, trash after trash, throw them away, pick another one. Yeah, the deal is done, but it's still being done everywhere. I wish they would listen and learn. Even if you are not educated, that doesn't make you to be stupid. Huh? Because they will not pack them to Germany, collect the money. Okay, how can you imagine that you, the man, you are not there. You tell your wife to go and give birth in Germany or in France. The money they are paying, you will not be uh, uh, collecting it from the woman. The woman actually will be giving you the money. What will she not be using to take care of the kids? I don't understand. And she doesn't have a job. Oh, sorry. I almost forgot. Really? I flog you, that topic. Thank you. At us, it is not even love. Not in all infatuation. Which love? Sometimes it is ignorant. Yes. Not knowing. Lack of education. Or bringing. Who in today's world gives birth to eight children? Imagine. That was what I said before. That was what I said before. That was what I said before. Imagine. No. You know some women. Mama just said, like, can happen. You know all these women that are. Uh, how would I say it? Obsessed for male children. Because it can be, I know women those days in Africa used to happen because they are looking for men. You know, all these are our men. Don't. <laughs> Some men will tell you if you have male cho uh, uh, guest children that no, it doesn't matter. I'm, I'm happy with you and the children. I lie on some of them. It's not true. We should find a way to move her forward. Yes, that's what I'm saying. Maybe she was kind of, she knew her husband, she was like, oh, if I can have a, because it used to happen to a lot of women, even years, you see some women having five children, this, 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 six children, they'll be thinking, oh, if I don't have this one, maybe you'll just be a male child, you'll just be a male child. Before you know it, they have given birth to God knows how many children that they cannot take care of. We should find a way to move her forward. Yes, that's your latency. see. So what, what would, like, she's not here now. If we want to say, okay, let's do this thing for her, what will, will be the next move? How can we move her forward? Because she's not the only person. There are a lot of women that are in, 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 there are a lot of women in this type of situation that we are talking about now. This situation happened all the, all the time. It happens. A lot of women, they are in this situation. The last time I heard, uh, it was my, my, my sister that told me before, I now heard the news. It was this type of situation, but that one was worse because she died. The man was not living with her. That one was in France. He always come every month to collect the money that the system pay for her to take care of the children. It was like now she grew up. That month that he came, the friend said, the nurse said, no, he's not going to be giving this man money anymore. Why will he be coming every month? To come and collect money. And when he's gone, she will not be struggling because she's the one taking care of the children. She's the one paying all the bills that are. She will not be giving the man money anymore. Because the man that came on that occasion, he didn't give the man the money anymore. The man killed her. He killed her. You see it? So, as Mama Josila have said, we need we need a way to start educating our women, most of them. That, are re that really lack 
education that are ignorant of this type of things, we need to show them tips on how to recognize such men in the society because they are men next to the society. At I did not. But I left the tab run open. Oh yeah, I came back to share it with your still on it. Thank you. Sometimes string stop running, so I wanted to make sure I was giving her uh, hours. Thank you. Uh, 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 Floji, I'm not really here. Uh, oh, uh, uh. <laughs> thank you so much. Do I really need? So that was it. Imagine. At us, it is ignorance. See, yeah, I understand. A male child not up to the woman. <laughs> ooh, ooh, ooh. Women, without women, can the world move? The world can move. A male child and a, a, a simple A level biology is taught in class. Yes, that may have Y and S chromosome. Yes, so if a male defines you by gender, just leave. But they can't leave. That's what I'm saying now. Most of them can't leave. They can't. Because of that no child they have had from the upbringing, as you said, because of that, later again for now, because of that thing, marriage, because yesterday, you know me and you, we said it already, that then say, what will people say, what will people say, is normally what brings a lot of women to this extent that they will almost lose their life. Because most of the time, the, the signs are there. It's just that most women just tends to play adamant. Sometimes they just try to blindfold themselves and think, okay, it will be better. Let me just continue. Maybe if I try and try, everything will change. It won't change. A carry man will always be a carry man, regardless of. But someone that doesn't love you, doesn't love you. That's just it. It is what it is. Some men, even if they left you with the kids, they'll still be looking for you to give you money to feed them. But some, more, some men, they don't care because you are the one that was bringing the money before. And right now, the money is not here anymore. So you now want them to... <laughs> what, do you, what do you expect? So I don't really know what is wrong with our women. Caring men always... Be care yes, always. Oh. Hey, hey, Doro, you are back. Look. Me, I'm still, uh, I'm particular about your friend. So I don't know if you can, you, you, you have to give me a number or you have to call and ask her what, because people really want to help her. What do she really want? What do she want us to do for her? Do you know? Unless the woman wants the children for themselves, it is useless having so many children on the mass saying so, yes. Some men are really atlet. But some most of the time it's not the men that will tell the women to have such children. Oh, hey. Me, I can speak for the men. That's why I'm a woman. Most of the time it's the women's doing it. Eh? Sometimes the men will be even be angry. The men don't even want such children. Most of the time it's women that 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 just that, that just do it. Some men are really atlet. They are atlet, we know. But some women also they are foolish. Because of ignorance, they, they do things that, 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 that are abnormal. Sometimes it's not the men that want the children. It's the, men, it's the women that just want to give birth to the children. They, they, what happened to, to family plan? Ah, I forgot that part. Oh, uh, I said, uh, fantastic uh, blows. I will not do your job because those are your job, your remedy. You need to teach uh, your women, your country women. If you like, speak PG so they will understand very well. On how to do family planning because a lot of I come to find that a lot of women don't even know what is family planning. They don't understand it because they, they thought what they knew in Africa because their parents, their mothers used to tell them or their senior sister what they had those days that when you do family planning, you cannot have children anymore or it will be difficult to be pregnant. I don't know where they got that from. So it's kind of like are we in the 18th century? Family planning is just a way for you to be able to space your children because there are different types of family planning. There are injections. They are the ones they call coils in Nigeria. They have other names here. They are the ones they put on their, their hand for three months. They are some that are for two years. They are some that are for five years. It depends on you as a woman. 
And some women, they even use a natural remedy. Some women, if they don't want to get pregnant, they will breastfeed their children till two years before once they, they, they stop breastfeeding, that's when they will start having children. I have one in my city. She's pregnant of the sixth child, and she's even proud of it and troublesome. Yeah, true, depends on you. Yeah, it depends, you see. Sis, what is she doing with it? You hear? People, did you read the Robles? Uh, she said in her city, one is pregnant of the sixth child, and she's even proud of it. How sad to have so many children. How can you take care of them? How can you take care of so many children? How can you take care of many children? And the worst part is what I, I said today. Those women that always have many children like that, they are the ones that are poor. They don't have a job. They don't have a profession. They are those that... that, that <laughs> it's very funny. Sometimes even the man that they are, they are giving the children to. And sometimes they don't answer this question. I'm very sure. You say it's in your city. I'm very, very sure, 100%. My spirit is telling me right now that that woman that is pregnant of the sixth child is not the same father that she's, she's pregnant for. It's different men. Because that's... that's that. Ah, God. I'm serious. We are always together. Is it the same father? I think it's not the same father. Because most of the women that does such things, they are not the same father. They will be giving birth to a different father, children with different father. At the end, they will have a lot of children. If she has six and it is a planning, it will be fine. Yes. If she has six and it is a planning, it will be fine. Yeah, if it's a planning, that's true. But if it's not... If she has this consistence in this time and era that we are, and if she have a job, it will be fine. What about if she doesn't have a job and she's living on welfare? What will you say about that? She's living on welfare and she's having six children. No, no, no. It will not be fair. That one is bad. Doro said, okay. If she has six, and okay. Doro said, no, same father. Or the poor man. He's tired, but she wants more. Okay, you see? So I will leave. Just see, consistent. How with that one? The man doesn't want any more, but it's the woman that wants the children. So she keep on producing. That's why I said before that. It depends on the women. Sometimes the man doesn't want, but the women will want. This lady sold her mother's land. It's a security. In this age in Germany, they will give her family planning education. Yes, especially if she told them in maternity. She already asked for in Nigeria. They won't say now. They are afraid. Don't you know that most Nigerian women, they are afraid. I'm a mother of many kids. Really? Okay, it was your decision. How many do you have consistent? Is it up to eight? No, I know that there are some women that really love children. But they work to take care of their children. That one is aside. That one is a different case. But some, they don't do anything. My family is a blessing, and I'm blessed to have a big family. Exactly. Yes, it's true. That's when there is no problem. You are laughing, no problem. <laughs> That's when there is no problem, my dear. But when there is an error, when there is issues, then it becomes, it becomes talks of the day. Imagine, you have large family, you haven't got a job, your husband haven't got a job, all the children plus parents living on welfare, living in a tattered home, their home. What is that? Even the children, they'll be in their... They will have a sorry life. They will be telling themselves that, how come is this woman that give birth to us? For the children to question their existence is the worst thing that can happen to any mother or any father. We have to give birth to the children we can cater for. It's not by having a hundred children that make us to be women. So that's it. I only had five and I am so happy about it. Ah, five is not so much. It's more sure. It's good for you. I broadcast it all over. I'm like, this I give from God. Exactly. As well as you love them and they are living fine. You are not, no one has to regret their children anyway. But it's only when the, 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 the problem now comes. The doctor will decide on the best contraceptive that will suit individual. Yes, exactly. But for them to be afraid of not going, that's what I don't understand. They need to go to the doctor to, to ask questions. 
At host, even the Queen of England with all the world did not have seen Imagine. See me oh, for England though. Even the England people, don't you see? Even Prince Charles and how, how many children they have. Host, any woman with six children in Europe cannot give those children the best Europe has to offer. Exactly, they cannot share because it's difficult to train a child in Europe for them to have all the basic amenities, for them to live really, really. What about when they are going to college, when they are going to the uni? Hey. The Robles and family said she refused to take family planning and doctors is tired of taking because talking because she always go against any advice. You see, there are such women for you. She refused to take family planning and she's always going against doctors' advice. So such in such cases, what can you do for such women, stubborn women? You cannot do anything. She should be grateful that her husband still loves her and still stay with her because in this type of situation, it can make some men to run away. They will just run away. They won't divorce her, but they will just run away. They will vanish. The woman will know where, where they are anymore. They will just... In fact, he, he will tell the friends around that, please, if you know this woman, if she asking of me, tell her you don't know where I am. Oh. Yes, I know some women are very stubborn. It's, those are the male women. Anything they say is what will happen in the home. They become the head while their husband becomes the neck. And in such cases, she will be the one financing the home as well. She will be the one financing the home. She will be the one working because since, um, uh, the husband is tired. Because the husband cannot be going and be working and working and the woman will be sitting down at home eating. Uh, uh, okay. You are talking to Josila and I, not always, I know. It depends on an individual. Oh, Doro Bless, thank you for that wonderful tone. So, uh, that wonderful, uh, uh, oh, what will I call it now? Ego, thank you for the super chat. God bless you. <laughs> on it, if you are responsible, my friend, yeah, have six. And when I used to visit her, her kids are well manner and they are living the American dream. Oh, yeah, but it's not much. I know what you are saying. I know what Josila, I, 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 I stand with both of you. I quite agree, 50-50. I have two rich children for my sanity and to be able to trade them. Me too. I'm up for any for the three, three sanity and up. Even the three, hmm, you will see when they are still small, it's good. When they get bigger, when they start, uh, bad days are coming. When you go to shopping, you spend thousands of money to buy things that's when you know that it's not easy then you now remember those that have a lot of children we have to focus on irresponsibility yes we cannot even take care of one child exactly even if one child they cannot even take care of themselves not to talk of a child thanks for the super chat thank you abba said you are still there doro thanks for the super chat thank you doro doro you are not on stream you that woman is what we want that one in italy can you tell if we what she really want if it's to help her with money or something? That one with eight children is what I'm talking about. Can you reach her if it's money she want or what does she want so we can do for her? If you have them without a penny from the social, you still need to send them to private schools. Yes. If you think you have money, have the minimum in in excellent health. Buy houses to live in, invest in them. Yes, exactly. That's true anyway. You are right. You are right. But my own, my own take is what you said, the first one. The rest, it depends on somebody has consistency. But if you are having many children, you are working, your husband is working. For me, it's not a problem. Because you can take care of them. That's why you gave birth to them. Some cannot even take care of one exactly. But where I, I find it odd and where I find it not right is... You are not working, your mind is not working, you're having a lot of children and living on social. They don't you know it's we that are working that are pay, paying your it's people that are paying tasks, taxable people that are feeding you guys that are not working, and the people that are working, you see, people that are working, they are still afraid to have many children because they know the cost is very high. And you that are not working, you will not be having a lot of children. Who does that? So that's the reason why. But if you are working, you said, okay, I want to have 10 children. It's left for you. If you can take care of them, it's what you want. It's your wish. Nobody will question it. Because there are some women that really love to have a large family. Uh -huh. So 
I will not say it's a bad idea. If you are with one man and you are working and your mind is working, for me, it's okay for you. It's what you like. I wish you luck. Because it's not about the children. It's not even if you have one. So far, you have to be able to take care of them. That's what matters. I have to say, if you have a genuine motivation in God's plan, God will bless your bond. When I shop grocery, people ask me the name of my restaurant. Of course, now you have a large family. They must eat. You are right. They must eat. They must eat. They must eat. You are right. People with large family, when they shop, that grocery, uh, they, in fact, they will take two. Sometimes three, the children, all of them will be full. Even me, they have three. Sometimes when I do grocery, don't go there. You you know, me, boys' children, the way they used to drink and eat. A, a male child at home, they, they can eat more, 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 more than three guests. Mama, I think that you need to, to tell in the woman. Yes, I, I will talk to Dora has gone again. She will come and go. She will come and go. Maybe she wants to. I know. You are right. So in a nutshell, we women, we should try as much as possible to know what we are doing. Because in the first place, we have to remember the thing that brought us to the diaspora. I think all of us that are here is for a greener pasture. By the time we are now doing the opposite, it's kind of disheartening. I trust exactly. I, I advocate that any couple who want large family must know that God said multiply and subdue. Subdue means control. Exactly. For me, I, I don't I, I don't dispute it. To you. As far as you are in with a, your husband, your husband is working. You are working. You are not depending on, on, on the system. You can be able to take care of them. Your children are responsible, everything. But so why not? Yes, we are all here for greener pasture. But some people, they, it will look as if they not forget what brought them to uh, the diaspora that we are living. That one, he used to whip me. I don't know where that person will not fear me for that one. They, they whip me. They whip my bone marrow. They weak everywhere for my body. I don't understand some men and some women. The way they, 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 they the way they tell they move everywhere. Huh? I don't understand. It's only God. Would you all be saying, calling God, 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 God help me. God do this. God. That's the main reason why God created us. Thanks, Doro, for the super show. Thank you. The main reason why God created us from the first place. He differentiated us from the animal. He gave us brain. He gave us sense. So we'll be able to reason. He didn't create us like the animals. So now, we now want God to come and be thinking for us. Is that one possible? God cannot come and think for us. Eh? Like we are waiting for God to come and do a miracle. Or we think manna will still fall from heaven. Like in the time of Moses. It won't. It won't. Oh. Everybody needs to be careful. We need to know the path we are treading. We need to know where, what we are doing. Hey, Destiny, you welcome. My thumbs up as you walk in majestically. Thank you so much for coming. I really appreciate your coming. Thank you so, so much, dear. Huh? So we need to know what we are doing. Because the way our African black community are, I always say it. Regarding our children, we have to treat them well so they will be responsible leaders tomorrow. Because in 10 years' time, only God knows, at us, the Europeans, we ask immigrants with large families to leave. Really? <laughs> because even their own indigenous don't have large family exactly anymore because it is poverty. If anything happens, it becomes wala. I want John Shaw. That one join, that one a matter, that one a matter, that one a matter. It's only God, it's only God. But where I stand, if you can afford to train your children, have a evil 10 children. For me, I don't mind though. But where me, I don't like it. It's you that is not working, your husband is not working, you'll be having children. No, that one is not good, man. Me, I don't like that one. Because there's no amount of money that government will give you that will be able to help you to train your children the right way. Somebody wrote up, somebody... Ah, Constance wrote something. Okay. I don't agree for people to randomly have kids. 
to be a disagree or cause to our society. Everything has to be under control. Yes, take care of kids so that society will not see kids as a trend. Exactly. You are right as well. You are right because that was where I was going before. Because I said for not in 10 years, if we don't if we don't sit up and tighten up our beds, mm. the children that most people are giving birth to now will become a, a menace to the society. They will become a nuisance. Even now, they have become some. Pardon, like here in the UK, you see London. Thank God for the lockdown sometimes, because since the lockdown, I've not been hearing knife key, 15 years old died, uh, 19 years old was stabbed today. The, so me, I'm um, at rest. All these people that are dying, ask me, Nigerian children, Jamaican children, all of them are black children. Where is it coming from? From the home. Because they were not properly brought up. They were not properly brought up. Some of them started at a very younger age because of lack of money at home, no food, no care, all these type of things that make me to brought about this topic of neglect. Because neglect, when you neglect a child, it can lead to a lot of things at the later end. Iyalaja Makeup Angele, you are conscious. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your being here. Thank you so much. Thank you for that wonderful thumbs up, CC. Host, the worst one is that you have many kids and start putting the body on other people. Yes, exactly. That one is also there. It's the same thing. You are not taking care of the children because you cannot afford to take care of them. So you have to put the body on them. Those are the ones that are living in Africa. They always do that. They will have children they cannot take care of. They don't have job. They, their wives are not working. They will be at home. They are, they're the men. They are not working. They will be at home. But they will keep on having children. Every year they will tell you they are pregnant. Their wife is giving birth. Like the way somebody wrote before. I think it was Flo J. That when you not tell them the children are too much, they will tell you that is it because you don't have a child. That's why you are talking. I said no. Even you that have many children. If you tell them ah, there is family planning. These children you are giving birth to. They are too much. Because you are, not, you are not stable. So are you going to take care of them? They will say you are jealous. Like me, they won't tell me I'm jealous because I will tell them I have my own. But me, I decide to, to, to give birth to the children I can take care of so I will not be a body to people. So if you don't want anybody to talk to, you go and walk. Go and walk and don't be a body to someone that you will not be calling for my, my child's school fees, my child... Uh, uh, diaper, my child hospital bill, my child this, my child that. No, that's what I'm talking about. I'm still running your not Ah, Marlo Music, thank you, thank you, thank you. God bless you, God bless you. I really appreciate you. You understand? That's my, my, my own take on it. But if you can take care of your children, but I know where Mama Josila is going as well because really when you look at the society, a lot of these so-called big men, wealthy men, they don't have more than two children. Except maybe the women that they, they had the one night stand with go and give birth on their behalf that they didn't know it. But you know women are good at that because they want to give birth to uh, a son or a daughter for a wealthy person. They will go and hide and, and give birth until the child is grown up. They will not come and tell the person that look uh, this is this is that, this is that. But apart from that one, when you look at the settings of a wealthy man, a wealthy woman, they are married. Even if they have two girls' children, they let it be. They are happy with it. They will not say, okay, because uh, it's, uh, we have only two female children, we continue to have teen, we have male child. They will not have ten children. No, 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 they don't do that. But in our community, it's what you see. They don't have work, they don't have anything. The only thing is children because they will say it's God's gift. My husband and I decided that people will not see us at their door knocking to beg for baby sitting like others. You see, beg around for people to watch their kids and they pick up all sorts of behavior. Yes, that one, I've said it, but that one also, um, uh, consistence, I've said it, but that also. That, that was 
That one you are not saying now is what brought about the neglect. It's neglect as well because they neglect the children. They leave the children for even younger children like the children to take care of or they, they leave them for themselves to take care of or they, they take a mind that I don't even care to come and mind their children for them. By so doing, they exhibit this type of behavior that, that is not even in their parents that God knows where they even pick it from. So, even if it's a child, that's why I'm saying that we should try as much as possible when the kids are too small. We should learn to cuddle them, stay with them. For them to know us, we should talk to them, be their friends, so they'll be, they, they, they will confide in us in everything that we are doing. But we say we are pursuing money, you pursue money, pursue money, pursue money. Your children now become an adult. What is there for you? Nothing anymore now. Because even when they are not teenagers and you want to come and bond with them, they cannot bond anymore. It will be too late then. She refused to bring herself out to because of security purpose. They need them. No problem. She don't need to bring herself out. Me, I don't even want that one. But I can talk to her. But what type of help does she need? I don't need to she don't need to come and call her to bring herself. You can be the middle, it doesn't matter. But what uh, you I know you say she need them. Uh, what app does she need? She need money or what does she need? That's why we are asking. What type of help does she need? She don't need to bring herself. She has to have dignity for herself now. It's not because her husband now left her. She's not the one that she's not the only woman that her husband has left. She's not the only woman that have given birth to many children. She's not the only woman in uh, diaspora that doesn't have a uh, a status that doesn't have documents so for me it's not really 100 percent a fault it's just that she was ignorant that's all uh -huh. so i pray for her that from this time onward she will not make such mistake anymore in any area of her life uh -huh. after this time she continue to grow because i've seen some women also maybe after some time now you see women in europe most of them they have many children but once if she, that's why, if she don't need to come, but you can be telling her, or maybe she can give me a number, I will call her soon. One advice I have for her, now, she's taking care of four children. She has to stay close to herself and forget about men. She should not allow any man to come and smooth talk her. Then, after one year or two years, now she will be singing another man's song that she wants to go and give birth to another child, or she wants to go and remarry that she cannot. She needs to take care of her children now. Huh? Now what she really needs is she to, to find herself because now she's lost. That's the word that we use. She needs to find herself now. She needs to find herself first and know where she stands in life. Because that post money part is doing something here. Parents don't stay home. Kids don't see parents and internet teach kids. Yes, yeah, I'll be saying that that's child neglect. That's that's ma the main the main cause of problem and knife crime in in London. I say in the UK as well. You understand? Because gadget cannot train your children for you. No amount of money, no amount of gadget, it can't buy the children's love. The children needs you. They need that cordial, that moral support from there. They need that love. Money cannot buy love. Post, we really need to pray for this young Italian. Yes, so imagine she needs to go back home to Nigeria with the four in Italy and reconnect with the four in Nigeria. Women who neglect children, neglect God. Of course, now that's the greatest one. You understand consistency? I understand you very well. It's internet that teach them. From internet, that's where maybe one day they try. I've said the story before, before you came. You understand? They will be looking for money. The money they are looking for is not that they are using it for the children. Most of them is competition. They will be building mansions in Nigeria. The mansions that they will never even sleep in. Some of them will never even sleep in that much mansion for one day. The kids they give birth to here, they are not even taking them on holidays. It's not that they are going to Nigeria every time. No. But they will abandon their children. Some of them that are not working, abandoning their children. Some of them is party every Saturday, every day. They are in one she will be or the other. During the day, they are on the phone calling, going from home to home. Thank God for the lockdown that kept people in their houses. But if the black community ask me, did they stay in their home? Only God knows. Did they stay in their home? Only God knows because 
this thing we are saying is getting out of hand. We have to, ah no, women, 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 everywhere, Nigerian women, Nigerian women, they keep on doing the same, keep on repeating. Ah, Germany is tired now. They will not be saying Germany is wicked. They are deporting children and, uh, and their parents back home. Is it not better? It's better for them and let them go to their country so they can go and reconnect with their God, reconnect with their family and start a better life because uh, it, it's like the government, yeah, they know the life they are living. It's a write-off. Because the ones that, that are not with their, their husband, they are alone. The, 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 you see a woman that, that, that still has a baby, that is still even sucking, a sucking mommy, a nursing mommy. We have a, a, a male friend. What is that now? What is that? We should have some dignity now. We should start putting respect to ourselves. We should start putting respect attached to our name. So that when people see us, what would they see? They'll see respect first before they see our names. Well, oh, son, it's ladder. Party here and there. Big as is back on. Yeah, that is the problem. That is killing us here in the black community. That's what is causing the night crime in London, most of them. They, instead of them to take care of their children, they are going to one party or the other, should be or the other. The ones that will even buy gadgets for their children, is it gadget the children with? PlayStation, buying toys, buying violent uh, 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 games for the children. From there, they learn how to... Uh, uh, it's only God will say God will help them. They cannot even help themselves. From one party to the other. Is it the time they will not take care of their children? The, one, the day they don't go to party, they are at work. They work how many hours? You know in UK now, they work like slaves. UK and America, at least Europe is better. At least Europe now, those ones, they are just lazy. They cannot work, they are not working. People, women in Europe, they work for hours, they will not be panting. <sighs> I'm just coming from work. <sighs> I'm very tired. How many hours did you do? You say, ah, four hours sometimes. They'll say, I did six hours today. I will just be laughing and say, look at this one. Come to UK or go to America. Women with children, they will do 12, 16 hours. They will still be... <laughs> they will not pan. The Europe, they have made it so easy for them because of that. That, that free money, but it's enslavement. Until you shake your body out of that shackles, you will remain where you are because it will make you not to move forward. But as far as the children are still young, don't get me wrong, it's good. Use it to take care of your children so they will know you. The children will know you, you will know the children. But once the children get bigger, that they know their surroundings, they can go to school and come back, they say, look for a job. Because that money is for a season, it's for help. To help who is coming, it's not for you to just sit down there and don't live there anymore. If you go and Google it, it costs money. Go and check out the name, the meaning of welfare. Eh? Be running party, running the amount. Anyway, God will help us. So, me, I've tried today. Mm. I think we will call it a day till we meet. We'll start discussing it, maybe. Per adventure, it will bring changes to all of us. At least all of us, even me that is sitting here, I'm learning from you guys the way you guys are learning from me. God will help us to be a better mother tomorrow. We help us to be a, a good mom to our children, to our grandchildren. It will help us that our children will never be a, the way what type. Our children will always hear our voice and listen. Anywhere they go, the goodness of God will never depart from them. They will never come across evil friends. Any occultic children will not know our children to befriend in the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever our children go to, the Almighty God will go with them. He will go behind them, go before them, and go after them. After all, we are just bad caretakers. Even when we are not dead, the Holy Spirit is there to do the work. So God will help us to be the better mother that he wants us to be. Because we cannot do it on our own. Even if we try. I have seen a lot of good mothers that raise up their children in a godly way. But at the end, the children still derail. They still go their path. But that will not be our path in the name of Jesus. As far as we have done our own path, God will help the children to stand. 
to be focused. And another thing before I forget, we mothers and, and fathers, please, we shouldn't be having like the ones in Africa before. We should try as much as possible to help our kids, to encourage them, especially those ones that doesn't like school, especially male children. If they don't like school, no need for you to force them and say they must go to school. That's where some problem come at home as well. You have to support them. There are professions they can do. It's not only people that go to school that get rich. It's not only it's not it's not only people that go to school that get rich. They can do mechanical in, in the college. There are a lot of professions they can do. Anything they tell you they want to do, just encourage them, especially when you see the talent in them. We should stop discouraging our kids. Those African mentality, I want my child to be a doctor, a nurse, a lawyer. We should stop it. It's not helping us. It's killing our youth. At us, when we had our care and nursing agency, uh, convenience store, yes, I made sure no staff worked more than 10 hours. Yes, that's, that's very good. Though. More than 10 hours shift. As I educated them that if they are tired, they are prone to errors. Exactly. But it, it happens now. They will not be sleeping at work. That's why they always sack most of them. Even men do it at work. They will be, they will be, they will be sleeping. I will just be laughing. You came to work, then they will not tell you. Ah, no, 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 don't say that. Oh, I went to work yesterday. Said, Who told you not to sleep? Back to back, you are coming from work, and you are it normally students that usually do it. The uni student, they say, ah, I'm looking for money, mom. I'm looking for money. I say, well, if you are looking for money, take care of yourself first. But that one, eh? It's only in UK and America that it happens. In, in Europe, it can never happen. It doesn't happen. When I was in Europe, I work. I didn't even work like that. I was doing nights. Nights is almost 10 hours. But at the end of the year, do you know how much they give to me in, in, in tasks? <laughs> I say I will show my tasks that I have to pay back now. If you see how much they will bring, you will dare not in Europe. If you are able to do your eight hours, it's enough for you. You don't enter your ass, be a So you just relax. If you do more than that, the way they are working here in the UK, all the money will go to government. You will not, you will not see anything. So it's nobody will tell you not to. Ha! They are not collecting my my my, my thumbs up. Fantastic! Are you sleeping? What happened now? From thirty seven to thirty one. Now wow. What did I say wrong now? Did I say bad thing? Yeah, now you I hope maybe they have they went to give me thumbs down. It will be nice though. That means I have broken into some bone marrow. Into some <laughs> that means I thought they make sense for white tea. <laughs> I thought they make sense. I thought they call you don't talk to Tati Floje, you not see Wala. Floje, you never sleep. We won't go sleep. So that was my message. So we should try and encourage our young ones, our teenage children, our young adults. So it's not good for us to be fussy, telling them, no, you must do this, you must do that. It's not encouraging. Young ones, they don't like that. I talk to a lot of them. They'll tell you, I tell my parents this thing. It's no more. I'm no, we are no more in their generation that we have to do this, that we have to do this. Let's encourage them in what they want to do because it's always good when something comes from your mind to do, when it comes from your heart, that's when you do it good. If we look at ourselves, it's still the same with us. Most of the time, if your parents, when you want to enter into uni, maybe your parents told you, do this, do that, do that, and it was a force that you went and do it. Do you know that most of the time you will just do it if you graduate, you can't even work with it. I was on course that I did it. No problem. Ah, Floje, can you explain what is happening to my likes now? It's just reducing. At us, which tribe is this Italian woman from? I don't know. I don't know. I supposed to ask Doro. I don't know. But I know she said she's the Nigerian. But I don't know where she's from. Oh, Brother Monday, bye. Thank you for coming. I really appreciate your being here. Thank you so much. God bless you. I will soon go anyway. I don't know. I will ask her. I did, uh, uh, she didn't tell me, you know me, I'm not curious. I just like to hear the story and do what I can do. But I didn't ask her to try. As far as she said, it's in Nigeria. I was just, yeah, that was okay for me. I didn't ask. I wasn't curious enough to ask. But I will ask her. If there's anything we can do, but for now, I think it's only money that we can really help to give.
So anything I have. So that's it. Flojo, you cannot answer me. I come now. My thumbs up has reduced, reduced, reduced. Spam comment at the cost of the tons of reduce. Ah, really? I'm not even reduced. Anyway, I'll go and delete it later. Eh? You just reduce, 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 reduce. It's now 27. I should have left since so. Since they are not giving me. Anyway, I'll go and delete all the spam comment when I finish. Really? Thank you for telling me. Okay, guys. Let's call it a day. You guys have done well. Thank you all. Thank you for all my super shatters. God will bless you from the pocket you brought out the money to super shat. Mama, the super God will bless you. God will replenish your pocket. You will never go hungry. You will never lack. This month of July will bring promotion to you and your family. You will in fact, you will soar higher like the ego in the name of Jesus. And for those of you that have stayed with me in this time, my God will bless you, bless you, bless you. Anything that is your heart desire in this month, God will answer it for you. You will never strive to eat this month. In fact, the way blessings will be coming to you, you will not even imagine. Thanks, ma'am, for this wonderful talk. Thank you, Sister Amy. God bless you all for coming. I really appreciate you all. Thank you all so much. See you guys. Bye-bye. I will try and come out tomorrow for just maybe one hour. If I cannot, it will be on Monday. Thank you guys. Bye-bye. Love you guys. At host. Bye. I pray Jesus steps in for the lady to teach her his ways. Amen. Host, thanks for being child advocate. Yes, so I want to jump into shower. And if I don't meet you, I would like you to join us on marriage chat tomorrow. Okay, what time is it? Bye, 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 bye. Consistence, what time? Except you come and remind me. I don't know what time. What time will be the uh, marriage chat? You will invite me then. Invite me on the marriage chat, okay? Okay, guys. I'm calling it a day. Bye, bye. You are bye. Mm. I love you guys. Jesus loves you more. Don't forget we are in the end time. Don't do what I won't do. Love you guys. Bye-bye.